Shit this tap 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 it. Just know your role and play your part. You're all talk and you're all bark. We see the loser in your heart. So please stop you're acting loser. like you're smart. We left that loser in a ditch. That's what you get for talking shit. These niggas talking tough for Twitter. But I know you're full of it. Talking about slime, talking about gang. Nigga, you do not have no clip. Nigga trying to say I make a mad. But boy, you really make me sick. You told a Glock. That bitch your face. You don't want smoke. Get out my face. You niggas ain't rapping. That judge is great. That boy stay capping. He need a cake Can't walk this darkness In my place I got cold white Inside my veins You niggas ain't rapping That judge is great That boy stay capping He need a cake You told a Glock That bitch your face You don't want smoke Get out my face Damn it. Niggas ain't rapping That judge is great That boy stay capping He need a cake Can't walk this darkness In my place I got cold white Inside my veins You niggas ain't rapping That judge is great That boy stay capping He need a cake Don't fuck with lanes Don't fuck with facts Don't care about bitches And distractions My bank account Another transaction We count them digits And Subtract it. Don't fuck what lanes, don't fuck what facts. Don't care about bitches and distractions. My bank account, another transaction. We caught that nigga sent him packing. You know what? My dumbass didn't turn the camera on either. Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> oh. Apologies. No, we don't want that. I need the HD crispy. Crispy cream. Oh, I should turn the camera on. That'll that'll help. Good lord, what's good with me today? This is, this is a regular day. I'm always like this. I can't technology. I apologize. Oh. Okay. Bring this down. And we should be good. Should be this should be good. All right. I kind of wanna zoom this out, but it lied to me. Maybe we'll see. We shall see. Maybe I'll just maybe I'll just pull this down. I don't like the one piece up above my head. Yeah, be over here or something. Nah. All right. Let's. Oh, you know what? I didn't pull it, dude. I didn't pull the chapter either. I am not serious today. What is good with me? It's an unserious day. Uh, Pat should be joining me in a bit. I also want to pick his brain about last week or two weeks ago. So I'm all right, bro. How y'all doing? Yeah, I want to be like a little more center as possible. Okay. The chapter, the chapter. <laughs> <laughs> don't, have to, don't have the chapter up. I'm not, I'm not serious. Uh, I'm not TCB One Piece. Glad, glad to see everyone's doing good. All right, front side 1080. Okay. Let's see the title. No way. Is it time? <laughs> Is it actually time? The legendary hero is gonna be. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. It's gonna be my. It's gonna be me. The the elder statesman. Why not just look unfocused to me? There we go. All right, let's commence. My bad. All right. The Legendary Hero, Chapter 1080. Cover request by Akamine, Aoi, Kawamatsu, and Hiyori playing with the origami. Let me move this. I don't like, I don't like this position of this thingy. Nope, that's the wrong thing. I want Nibbas. That's us. Yeah, put me here. 
right. Hachinosu, the pirate island. This is Beehive Island. Havoc at the hive of piracy. Captain Kobe's on the loose. Oh, yeah, he got snatched up. Forgot they snatched his ass up, bro. <clears throat> uh, no kidding. Then the Commodore's got no claim on him. His bounty's up for grabs. How much do we get full killing? Don't ask me. Cross Frost Guild's footing the bill. The Cross Guild? So what? Blackbeard, Mihawk, Crocodile, Buggy working together in some capacity? Well, Buggy did have some. No, wasn't didn't the Buggy have a Marine hump? I don't even know. I don't even remember. That's crazy. All right, let's keep going. Um, I've got the ticket right here. The payout is huge. How much is it? How much is his head worth? Oh, yes, cause he, he's a Marine. I'm stupid. Kobe's a Marine. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense because he had bounty Marine bounties with the Giants and stuff like that. All right, I'm caught up. I'm, I'm sorry. He's a five star. Each star's worth a chest of booty. <laughs> did not say that. He's around uh, 500 million. The average Navy captain only fetches a single star. Hmm. I'm feeling a tickling sensation on the left side of my chest. That's around where we keep the unsold slaves. Yeah. Don't tell me they're escaping too. Does it mean that it's open season to all them Pizarro San? You crazy? You crazy? Quit being so bloodthirsty. We need them alive. That includes Kobe. Listen or I'll tell Teach. Ack! Is the voice coming from the rock face? Interesting. No, nah, Cross Guild, Pacey Bounty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. I, 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 for some reason, I, I didn't, in my head, I wasn't thinking Kobe was a Marine. I'm thinking Pirate for some reason. That's, that's, that's just my stupidity. Huff, huff. <laughs> they know we're here. Let's hurry. He's got like a ball and chain on his ankle. Navy HQ sword member Kobe. We wouldn't have made it this far without you, Captain Kobe. Please, I'll act as a decoy and keep them busy. Thank you. You're the best. Don't tra don't lose track of Kobe. Hunt him down. He's a saint. And Kobe being a captain with five stars, while well, the average captain is worth one star is pretty nice. I mean, we, I mean, we already knew from a from a ranks from a rank um position, Kobe stands out more like amongst his peers of his rank. Plus, he's um the hero of um Rocky Port and stuff like that. So that makes sense to me. It's not crazy. You could catch him yourself, Pizarro. I'm finally get to see the Blackbeard Pirates like interact and shit. Like I want to see this. How, shout out to Shiryu of the Rain, aka M Bison with a sword and a cigar. Shiryu of the Rain, an invisible man who ate the clear, clear fruit. Corrupt King Pizarro Avalo, an island man who ate the island, island fruit. Is that's not what Pika had, right? Pika had like the assimilation fruit. What was that called? That's not the same thing, is it? Did, you, did they kill Pika? Pika One Piece. It's not the same thing, I don't think. Let me just make sure. Like, Ishi was called something else. But he can merge with the island, though, right? Ishi Ishi no Mi. That was a stone stone fruit, so it's different. But I guess the, the way it works is somewhat similar. Okay, in nature. All right. So he's, like, actually the island. Okay. That's scary. And he can even become, like, the, the man-made parts of the island, it seems, because I could see his face in the wood. And the wood would have been something that you would have, like, chopped the tree down and placed on. That's interesting. Nah, Teach always gets pissed at me for causing too much damage. Yeah. <laughs> then can I go? What did you... What? Did, what? Did, well, actually, maybe he just looks like that because of the material he's... I don't even... I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> what you have in mind, Vasco? So one piece better better Pika don't sound like a compliment. <laughs> Pika stone yeah stone stone yeah I thought it was a symbol for some reason. It's it, it's what's the, what's the other fruit that was like that that I'm like I like like I feel like Oda has used this concept kind of like three times I can't remember what but it might have been a filler though. If I burn down the whole town there'll be no one left to run. Is this did he hockey up his nose or his nose looks red? Does his, does his nose always look like that? Why is this guy's so ugly? Heavy drinker Vasco shot a booze man who ate the glug glug fruit. Were they all ability users? Do we know this before that? Or did some of them get abilities? I think maybe like Burgess, Vasco shot, and maybe the doctor weren't. I don't know if these guys are already at Dogfish now or they stole this from other people. I'm actually not into, I'm not sure at all. I know Shiryu didn't have a fruit. Uh, that's perf perf That's a perfect plan. Only thing is all the fire damage will still piss off Teach. Glug, 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 glug. They only just patched up the damage from the Rocky Port incident. There's Swan Wolf. 
the colossal battleship Huan Wan Wolf, a giant who ate the big, big fruit and became a gig gig gigantification man. So a lot of these guys just ate something that amplifies whatever their natural traits are. So drinker, I guess, big and big guy. Oh, we did learn that actually. We I remember we learned that in like a side story or a beaver card or something that he was he was a devil fruit user, right? We we did learn that, I remember now. Uh, smoker fruit downgrade of Caesar's fruit. I don't agree with that. Um, I I could understand why you'd say that, but I don't I don't know if I agree with that. I think ultimately how you use it, it, you could have a better fruit, but if you don't use it better, it doesn't matter. I think these are all new. I feel like they just got them. Their ability, they got abilities. This one implied. I don't remember knowing these before. No, definitely with Swan Juan Wolf. We didn't know when he first appeared in Marineford. I'm saying there was some type of ancillary source that told us he actually... I remember this. this. This is similar to how we learned that Reiju was a fruit user. We just thought it was like her poison pink Vin Smoke shit, but she actually is a devil fruit user. They do this sometimes. Uh, they got abilities. I don't remember. I think, I think I think it was a ton-ton fruit and a kilo-kilo of snow, snow, ice. No, no, no. Not, not, not necessarily. No, I'm talking about one that lets you assimilate yourself into the environment. Not not like a logia, like actually like stone face rock, really big. But maybe I'm maybe I'm thinking something of that that didn't happen yet. There was that newspaper worth Rage's fruit. I remember that. Oh, maybe okay. I don't know. Maybe I'm misremembering how I I learned it. I found him. Ah, huff puff. Escaping a foot might not be possible, but at least I'll be able to buy enough times for the others to sail. So, hero, tell me. Let's put a flashback. Do you like my idea of making Pirate Island a full fledged nation? It can be government affiliated so long as I'm king. The Blackbeard Kingdom has a nice ring to it. Don't you think? Ze ha 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 ha. I think it sounds delusional. There's no way that allowed a country of criminals. Come on, it ain't nice to piss on someone's dreams. Besides, I'm keeping you alive to be a bargaining chip against them. The Navy and the government would collapse before they roll over to a cowardly terrorist like you. Also, you're wasting your time. I'm a member of S.W.O.R.D. Oh shit, Kuzan's there. He's like, sword the hell's that that rules out using him teach if he's serious it'll be a total bust. i still have no idea what to do with like kuzan just being on this guy's crew like being around i don't think he's a pirate but it's just so funny like i just see like what are you doing here if he's serious it'll be a total bust. he's already given up his marine code sword members are marines who are no longer recognized on paper everyone in sword has officially resigned their commission that allows them to ignore certain command protocols. For example, they can fight an emperor like you without authorization, and the navy can always disavow their actions and cut them loose at any point. Oh, I get it now. That's why some rats scurry away, while others don't hesitate to gnaw on your finger on your fingertips. Say, ha ha ha! I know which I know which ones I prefer. Still, I ain't budging on this. Let's see how flat uh, how far this plan takes you. Yeah, he's still like a symbol. This is exactly what I was thinking. I doubt the world government write him up that easily. After all, the public wouldn't be pleased to hear that they lost their precious hero. That's, what was, that's exactly what I was thinking. If I if things don't go my way, I, I can at least give the government a bloody nose. Until then, keep him locked up. We can't have him slipping away and ruining my fun. Yes, sir. In the age of SBSs, we would we would have known already. Oh, okay, I assumed he was just OD big. Well, I did too, but it's, it's, this is like pretty recent. This is like within like the last three years we learned about this. This wasn't like Marine Four times where there was something that told us this. I don't, I don't remember why I know this, but it wasn't in the One Piece story that I learned that he had the gigantification fruit. I knew this beforehand. That one I knew. Um, Kobe's so silly. He says that as long as Arlong Park and Dressrosa don't exist, <laughs> there was a new spot. Oh, this read it already. Uh, where was I? Stop there, Kobe. Oh shoot. Oh, 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 Perona did come here to save. Oh, shoot. She good? Yo, Perona better be safe, eh? Yo, I'm not playing games, son. Yo, my ghost princess better be in pristine condition. Oh, we will have problems. Oh, nah. I don't like that. <laughs> she better be okay, bro. I may have teamed up with the pirate, but that doesn't mean I changed my duty. Come in. Three Marines are attacking... The port. What? Did they just say three marines? There's no way. They're crazy strong. Watch out. Gosh, what am I thinking? It's not like they'd send anyone just to save me, right? When did I start thinking the world revolved around me? I need to get a grip before I embarrass myself. You're kind of you're becoming, you're becoming a big shot, my boy. You're out here. Tell them to put respect on your name. You're a shooter. You're you're the young pink mamba. Who the heck are these guys? They're so tough. 
They seem to be trying to push back, push us to the to the town center. What are they up to? Stop them. Damn it. Why aren't our guns working on them? I have no idea. Are these some type of weird new something? But it's, are they this strong? Enough already. Whoa. I cut his head off. That stings. Is he... What the hell? Is he made of clay? No way. He's a Logia. A clay Logia? Does that make sense? Wobble. Hey, did that building just move? Hey, yeah, right. You had one too ma one drink too many. Where'd that Kobe guy go? Be a good boy and move your ass. What's with this crazy bro broad? No back talk. And wipe that dirty look off your face. Is she scolding the building with a whip? And why are you guys staring? What? A Marine? What? Don't get any Marines around here? Well, at least you're both cute. Why don't you come a little closer? Navy HQ Rear Admiral Sword Member Kujaku, a tamer woman who ate the whip whip fruit. The grand Oh, granddaughter of Sudu. Interesting. Her name means peacock. Okay. So what is the whip? What is the whip? She, can she, she could tame inanimate object? Did she actually like make... Is she making the buildings move? Is that what she's doing? I don't know. I'd be happy to break you in, but this is kind of, but this is kind of similar to the gimmick of the girl from, is not, was it Sadie? What's her name from, um, Impel Down? Um, I mean, clay is naturally formed. Oh, I actually didn't know that. Oh, okay. I thought it was a man-made thing. Okay. Fair enough then. I'll, I'll, then I guess it makes sense. My bad. If front against her, I need me on the ass ASAP. There was a line that said Blackbeard was collecting fruits. That might be it. Yeah. I know he was collecting fruits. I was just saying that, um. I was wondering if there was anybody in that jit in level six that he freed that was already a fruit user. Was he the only one uh, alongside San Juan Wolf or whatever? And then he passed it out to everyone else is my point. And what if I wanted a crew and I don't want to eat a devil fruit? Do I have to? Because I wouldn't sleep. Suck my dick. I'm not eating that dumb ass shit. I'd be happy to break you in. We've got you now. Co corner now, Kobe. Everyone get ready. To pump him full of lead. Crap, I'm surrounded. I guess it's the end of the line. He can't hockey up. He's not, he's not a fruit user. You can't dodge the... What the hell? They shot flowers? <laughs> Stay the stage from, from Impa Dania. BDSM, BDSM fruit. This woman moving me. My ancestors are ashamed. Jesus Christ. I hope Corona's okay. Facts, facts, facts. Corona can't, gonna be fine. I can't believe she's here to get Mor Moria out, though. Right? <laughs> she really risked her life for Gecko Moria. Uh, they got history, though. Wow, they're beautiful. Wait, what am I saying? Why are they making uh why are the guns making flowers? There must be GP flowers. Who the hell did this? Gunpowder flowers? I don't get it. I guess the GP does, does, does that mean? Hibari san, is that you? Kobe Senpai, get your butt over here and don't get the wrong idea. I ain't here to help you. I was going out for lunch and just happened to be in the area. I use flower bullets so they won't be able to use their guns for a while. Uh Navy HQ commander, member of Sword Hibari. Prince, what's your status? This is Groos? Prince Groos? <laughs> Yo, he pulled up. He pulled up. <laughs> he actually pulled up. <laughs> I, <laughs> where I said, uh, please don't make me look bad. <laughs> Help me raw. Don't make me look bad. Oh, he's the clay dude. Okay. Oh, so that wasn't even him. He just made a clay construct. Is it a Logia, though? Um, Navy uh, HQ uh, Rear Admiral Member of Sword Prince Gruss, uh Clayman or Gruss I don't know G Russ G G no, Gruss Gruss a Clayman who ate the squelch squelch fruit I don't like that <laughs> I just don't like that at all I don't like that <laughs> what <laughs> I don't like that never mind I, what the heck I don't remember the town looking like this did the buildings move or something all good aim for the middle Preparations complete. Hang on, everyone. Hang on tight, everybody. <laughs> Blast off. Did they cool the burst? How they how how the ship take flight like that? Huh? Hmm? Huh? A battleship, isn't that? Oh shit! Ah shit! <laughs> he really pulled up. I don't believe what I'm seeing. Is that a navy battleship flying up there? Wait, is someone standing on it? This is no time for questions. Let's book it. Crap! There's too many of us packed in here. We're trapped. It's Vice Admiral Garp. Run for it. Uh, running, okay, screw running nowhere on the island is safe. We need to set sail. It's no use. There's no way out the center now. Thwop. Listen up, you pirate turds. Vice Admiral Garp. You should have thought twice before you kidnapped Kobe. He's the future of the Marines. But why would you go so this, so, this far for me? Not to mention, he's also my replaceable protege. Galaxy? Blood clot? Ross Clot Fist 
everything's mosh up. <laughs> Everything is mosh up. They got fucked. So they put him in the center so Garp could just punch them. He he just did that with a punch in hockey from that far, my nigga. It's conquerors too. Well, obviously, I mean, and yeah, damn. I I fuck with Garp, so I'm here for this. I'm here for it. He really just be he, he really the fist, bro. He just he just be punching niggas. He really just the fist. <laughs> That was good. I like that, actually. That was a good chapter. I actually think so. This is probably the favorite chapter I've read in fucking weeks. In weeks. In months. This is the best chapter I've read in a month. I actually like the stuff with Kobe and everything, and then them coming to save them. They actually had a good operation going to get him out of there. It didn't, it didn't seem like they just came in and winged it. They had, like, a plan. So, well done. Getting them to the center, using the whip fruit or the clay or the squel squelch fruit to create this, uh, like, to kind of trap them in the center. So you get rid of, so you damage all the people, all the individuals. Plus, you cause you cause structural and um damage to the integrity of all the buildings and possibly all of their weaponry and whatnot. Because didn't Pizarro or one of them say they recently were still healing or repairing stuff from the Rocky Port incident? That was pretty smart. I'm not mad at it. Hold on, man. Where is this guy at, bro? I finished. Sec. Oh my god, I spelled it reading like an idiot. What do you guys what did you guys think though? Alright, my bad. Pull the chat up again. Um Let me see, let me see, let me see. I guess Nye a hockey user. I've always said with me, if I was gonna, if I was in a One Piece world and I was gonna eat a devil fruit, I need to know what the fruit is before I eat it. You can't just be like, eat this. You never know. I'll be like, niggas, I like swimming. Fuck off. Like I like to swim. <laughs> like I'm not eating that. Um, I would just. I have a lot of willpower. I'll be alright. <laughs> My phone was. I'll be alright. Now, now I'm just a muscle user. <laughs> By the way, no translation. This girl was noted to speak in the same dialect as Akane to people saying they might be related. Oh yeah, he has like the is it the Kansai dialect or something something of the sort? He like he has that yeah, or Kyushu or something. I think you're I think okay, that makes sense. Interesting. I remember when you cooked him for no reason. Who did I cook? Oh oh Prince Gross. I'm not I'm not giving him ratings. He just I thought I thought he was the snap. Then he had the squelch fruit. I'm not I, he didn't get ratings yet. He what did he, he I I'm giving the ratings to I actually would I would actually actually give him credit because he had them fighting his clay constructs and he's they were probably luring him to the middle but i'm gonna give i thought hibari had like the the the, the, the show-stopping moment because when he, when they got to basically um fire fire on him and i'm i'm assuming this is supposed to be a small callback to p- p- perhaps to the beginnings of kobe because he kind of saved um zoro from this fi- from a firing squad kind of trying to un undo the things and like um with uh Cap- Captain Hadnax Morgan so it's a small callback perhaps I could be forcing that though Squelch did not sound cool about Squelch is a nasty word facts that King coding is crazy as hell yep him strong him punch stuff hockey wifi <laughs> Matt hit them with the nuke yep warp season a garp agenda how many logias are there for what's essentially just dirt you got clay mud sand actual dirt logia could still be a thing just use a bit strange so I, still, I don't know it is what it is I suppose you want to milk it for what it's worth, right? Here for Garp doing things. I hear it. Very good chapter, honestly. Seems all to continue the trend of these legacy characters finally getting good screen time, showing, etc. Nice chapter. Oda finally dropping more than a single triple, uh, a triple single. BRB getting some coffee. Hibari was out here there, man. I was interested in seeing. I was, it, it was interesting to see how Mappa doing anything. But how Mappa was on the ship with Garp. So maybe, I don't know. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out how they took the ship in the air. Did Gar punch them in the air? Was was that someone's ability? How did they kind of coup the bird? Did they get the idea from lo- seeing the um the Sunny go to take flight to take flight like that? And I wonder what I wonder what it was. But I'm gonna say something that's probably gonna undercut a lot of people's hype. Don't get upset at me. And I don't think this is a bad chapter. I enjoy it, and I'm a Garp fan. Garp is probably what my second favorite mar- Marine character right after Barcelona. Probably yeah. Him, it's like it's like Garb, it's like it's like Kizaru Garb Smoker. You show like my favorites. 
I don't like the way Oda does um does this shit with power scaling. I don't like how he does it. Because w- for us, it's very obvious that he just, dis- it's either that he doesn't have the idea in his mind or he just decides when he's going to showcase something. My problem with something like this is if Garp could really still t- do something like that at this age, it's so hard for me to believe so much shit I saw at Marineford. Marineford always sticks in my craw when I see these niggas start doing stuff like this, where I'm like, how am I supposed to be hyped for a reserved war where nobody is trying just because we can't showcase what they're doing? And I don't like that. I like if you, I like that you have enough of a handle on power scaling. You can show things early without necessarily contextualizing it, and we understand it later. So I'm gonna give you an example. You know, uh, you guys probably I don't know if you guys were around when I was kind of upset at the Rayleigh hockey throw off the ring neck collar thing and Udon when Luffy had the thing on his neck. But when they re-showed it, his hand actually turned black to do it. I'm like, you should just have been showing Buso when the characters who are capable of using it were using it and not explain it to us. Then when Rayleigh gave the explanation of the different hockeys and stuff, we would we could have retroactively been like that was hockey. Oh yes, all of those things. That's that's my only issue. But it's a good chapter. But now I now I have to just suspend all my belief of every every possible thing all of these characters could have been doing for so long because they just refuse to try under any circumstance. But it was a good chapter. That's fun. Let's go. What's popping, G? What's going I on? I am. Oh, you in a good mood today. Gar punched the fuck out of them niggas. <laughs> he really yeah, he the, he really the <laughs> fist. Like, he, he just, all he left, oh my all he uses his God. left knuckle, his right knuckle. Nothing else is required. <laughs> he different. Bro. Mm. I seen that shit. I couldn't even like jump up and down and scream. I was just like in silent awe. Like, nigga, what? What the fuck did I just look at? Mm. He punched the island. Without touching it. That's why he's the hero, man. Hold on, let me just catch up the chat real quick. Oh, where was I? Feel you. Hockey's been passively buffing characters like crazy. Agree this motherfucker has been Mickey Mouse war because the power scaling really doesn't make sense. He only did it with observation and that only works when it, when it works. Do I think Pizarro got hurt by the punch or even KO? I, I, I assumed all the like main officers are okay. Or like took damage and are like reeling or running away or trying to escape or something. I don't think they're going to try to fight fight Garb because I don't even think Blackbeard would do it. So, they're, they'd probably... Yeah, they're not stupid. Mm-hmm. Uh, she said, what up to you, Pat? Characters like Mihawk and Garb should have been doing way crazier, but were essentially doing nothing. It's kind of my... That's kind of what I'm saying. So, not sure if Buso is actually visible to people the same way we don't know if Deku's lightning effects are actually there or just a vision indicator. I don't know what you're talking When it comes to Deku, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not caught up to that. No, Buso is the literal hardening. That's when you, the fist, the parts of your body turns black. You're, talk, you're thinking about the other version of armor hockey that, that, that's, um, that's invisible that you can use to put up like a small shield in front of yourself. There, there, there's, there's different applications. Then there's Ryoyu for like the internal destruction. I kind of just use gentle fist as my placeholder because you guys are lazy and that's the only way you understand. But um, yeah, man. I actually like this chapter. I actually like how it start. I like how it was about like Kobe getting like trying to get away and stuff and he was trying to free people. But um okay, do you remember when we learned when Son One Wolf got his devil fruit? Do you remember when he do you, do you remember? It wasn't this chapter. I, thought it was I knew about I knew I knew about this already. I swear somewhere it was said that he was a giant that ate the giant fruit. A giant fruit. Because the question I was asking was I, I don't, shit, did I have a premonition? Like, did I see the future? Like, I don't know. But, like, I swear I remember this because he's the only one that I remember having a devil fruit prior to this because now that they're introducing them, they're introducing them with all their devil fruits ability. We know M. Bison with a sword didn't have one. I'm pretty sure Vasco, Sean, and um, Burgess and them didn't have one. And then Blackbeard, as he was growing power, went out and amassed and got devil fruits for his crew. I was wondering if any of them already had devil fruits when they got imprisoned in level six. That's what I was trying to figure out. I honestly do not recall seeing someone wolf having his devil fruit listed. 
because I always it wasn't in the manga. It was so fucking big. It wasn't oh, in the manga. See, it wasn't. It was an outside source. There we go. That's why I don't know. Because I recall, I recall. Well, someone said that maybe, maybe in a the newspaper they said this. Apparently, Reju's fruit was revealed. But I remember learning about Reju's fruit from like an interview or something, or, or like a One Piece newspaper magazine or something like that. Like, I think Sandman AP like translated something and it said that Reju has the rage suit and a devil fruit. And I was like, what the fuck? So, so yeah. Um. Buso's like Demon Slayer breathing. Pretty sure we've known that he had a giant fruit. I remember if it was an SPS, it might have been an SPS or something or a Viver card. I that that's that, that's the one that I knew. That's what I was trying to say. I knew that one, but everyone else, I, I didn't. I was I was trying to discern that, but um, yeah, I uh I ended up I ended up agreeing with Blackbeard's um plan here because I because because I guess Kuzan tried to discourage him with saying he's from Sword, so it doesn't really matter. They can just they kind of just discard him. He's kind of like off the book so to speak but i was thinking like he's amassed a lot of notoriety and has become a hero in the eyes of a lot of regular people especially from the rocky port incident so i still think he's symbolic enough that you could probably use him so i actually mm-hmm. agree with his decision making there that's because that's what i was thinking what do you think of aokiji just being there though like i I, have, I still don't know what to make of him like like quote unquote working with blackbeard i have no idea what to make of this i was actually really surprised like Either he's really good at playing his cool, no pun intended, or he has some ulterior motive that has nothing to do with the Marines. Because I, I could have sworn up and down this nigga was part of S.W.O.R.D. It doesn't look like that's the case. He seemed, and, he seemed almost caught off guard, but it, and it seemed like, natu- oh, again, maybe he's acting, I don't know. but Yeah, because like, when he mentioned that it was part of S.W.O.R.D., he was like, fuck, this nigga? And I'm like, if you're part of Sword, then you would know that Kobe is part of Sword. So like, exactly. So, um, did anyone stand out to you? Um, uh, I like I, I I like the Hibari moment with the flowers. That was good when they were gonna kind of kind of like uh, like the kind of impression that I somewhat got was it was supposed to be somewhat of a small Easter egg and or callback reference to him trying to save Zoro from a firing squad from Captain Hadnax Morgan. And then he got saved from a firing squad in his way. I don't know. I, don't, I could I could have forced that though. I'll just I don't know. I think I think too much. I see. I see. I see where you're going with this. Yeah. But I liked all of them. To be honest with you. I'm still not fucking with Prince. <laughs> I'm not fucking. I was I, I was actually like, hold on, is he gonna make me look stupid? And then he had the squelch, squelch. I'm like, nah, he didn't make me look dumb. Squelch. I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> If there's a better translation, I'm using that one. <laughs> I'm not using squelch. Ew, I hate that. You know, people are like moist. That's like that's like saying moist to me. I don't like that. That's, I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable with that. Uh, man, Aokiji is deep on the cover, or he's genuinely moving alone. We knew it already was possible to be revealed in a viewer crowd or interview. Um, po- possible Kobe joined sort of after Aokiji left, though. I guess that could make sense. Aokiji just wanted to get Blackberry with the sneaker sneak. Why do I feel like Blackbeard will take his power at some point? Um, post Rocky part or something. I have a hard time believing Teach actually trusts Aokiji, especially learning about Sword as a concept. I'd be disappointed if Teach got caught lacking later on. He's a little overconfident though, so it wouldn't surprise me. But he's also smarter than he lets himself on sometimes. But he has a bad habit of letting his guard down and getting way too overconfident when things are going uh, well for him, which I like. It's very human. Humans are like that. Yeah. See, that's 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 the thing about Teach. When shit is going his way. He gonna run his fat fucking mouth and show all his little fucking toothy ass teeth. And then when shit starts going south, he starts fucking panicking, crying, and begging for his life. Yep. Real piracy. Also, I gotta say this. I say real piracy, but, I, but like, I like, I like, I kind of like how his crew is structured because it's kind of not structured. <laughs> There's like, oh, Kobe escaped? Oh, I'm killing him. It's, 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 it's fair game. <laughs> the Commodore can't get mad. I'm like, I'm like, what is this? This is such, this is literally a rag tab of just criminals on, on a fucking island, bro. There's like no unity here either. I like it. But what's also interesting was- is, sorry, so just, just real quick, that means that Blackbeard is approaching Egghead without his full force, so to speak, which makes sense. You want to keep some people to defend the island, but he's not. He's um. He's he's probably traveling with other, with everyone else, so it's interesting. You think he's on the ship? 
on you think it's you think it's law? It, I I mean, I was thinking like he probably sent like some of his crew away because he was having an extended battle and shit. Like, hey, y'all niggas go on ahead. The reason that I think I think it's probably Teach is because they said this is supposed to be the Egghead incident. Mm-hmm. And while the Blackbeard Pirates being there would like be interesting, like why the fuck would I be like Sanji's packing all of them up? Sanji's packing all of them. Like, I'm not like I'm not worried about them. Like what? Like they're not a threat to me. As far as I'm concerned, they're the same threat level as CP Zero. None. <laughs> CP Zero at no point in the post time skit put any modicum of fear in my heart. I'm like, these niggas are not raw. We beat Rob Lucci, bro. Move him from me. I don't want to see these niggas again. He's not raw. <laughs> I like Haku though. He's funny. Um, the damn nigga almost missed it. Goat beard hype. <laughs> I have the heart. Oh yeah, I got that. Who's on Katarina Lafite? The only ones who not accounted for. Okay, fair. We weren't shown Law in prison, so maybe he got away. I wouldn't be surprised if Law got away. That would shock me. Just I, I was under the impression that this moment. Well, the conversation between Kobe and Blackbeard took place before. before. Yeah. Before he left to go get, to go, I guess, get law or whatever. Mm-hmm. But um, right now, he's not there. <laughs> Present time, when because Kobe escaped when Teach was not on the island from, because of yeah. Mona. And she better be fine. I don't know where Gekamoria is. I don't know if he's like dead, but. <laughs> what is it? What is it? Break your back, black books. I said that move is trash. <laughs> <laughs> you put a box and you punched him. You're not raw, nigga. Dragon has to deliver nah, if both his father and son are showing out where they are. So, what what are the agendas that are going on, chat? You guys can tell me. But, um, yeah, I guess I guess this is the po- moment where maybe the 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 shackles are off and all the strongest characters can completely go all out or showcase what they can do. I'm not gonna say Garb went all out, but he definitely put some some back into it. <laughs> See, this is this is why I said that you would like the chapter because for one, like your that. Yonko was on the feature, so and I was like, okay, op- Garp, open this shit up with Blackbeard. Second, Garp my second favorite. And Garp, yes, and Garp is your second favorite. And also, you mentioned that you're a combat star, and these niggas is getting fucking busy now. It's fine. No more time. of that. Oh, Admiral Garp, hang back. We got this. Da, da, da. That nigga said no. You took one of my Marines? Let me show y'all something real quick. <laughs> I, I, I actually like what Garp said, that he's the future of the Marines, because I agree. Yes. Like, Kobe yes, embodies, embodies the ideals that you probably would want a Marine to have. Because Kobe, as much, as much it's like, like he's similar to maybe like a Garp or a Kuzan, where it's like he'll defy orders if he thinks that it's the wrong thing, like saving Nico Robin or something of the sort, so... I like his morality. I think he, I think he, him he, being in charge will uses reform justice. Marine. Yeah. He uses justice with common sense. Like that's 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 what being a marine is supposed to be about. Not fucking oh, the government said do this, so we gotta do this. Like, bro, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can use your moral compass to discern whether someone is a good or a bad person. Yeah, I feel it. Listen, I'm so happy we got no more Big Mom and Kaido. Give me Kurohige. I still have this sneaking suspicion Big Mom will pop up again. I don't think I actually at this point I think Kaido's just done. I think he melted in the lava, which is embarrassing, but all right. Garp. Yeah, he served his purpose. Garp. Yeah, I'd like I like if Garp came and Garp. If Kaido came back, I'd be like, why? <laughs> <laughs> like Big Mom, I could be like, I guess no, this maybe just a couple of loose threads related to like, you know, taking the island from her and putting his flag as a flag on it. Um also, some stuff with El Baf and Loki, maybe. I don't know. So, there's that, I guess. Yeah, and, and also because, for one, Big Mom was the first Yonko that Luffy challenged when we mm-hmm. started the time skip. And any person that Luffy has said directly that they're going to be, he has done it. Mm-hmm. I but, it. I don't, I don't, that's, that's just a last hanging straw trying to grasp um, same reason why people down. Wait, sorry, where was I just not sorry. Um, people are gassing dragon to the high heavens due to Garp showing this chapter. I still, I'm still, I'm, I don't I have no idea what to do with dragon, but I don't think he's weak. I don't know why anyone doubts dragon strength because he hasn't, he hasn't thrown a punch. <laughs> you have no <laughs> idea what he could do. That's why they doubt it. <laughs> that's not like, like I understand what you're saying, but that's the reason because he hasn't done anything from a combat standpoint. 
So same reason why people don't play Mihawk, no huge off sc- on screen feeds against someone that matters. Okay, I don't know. Stop watching One Piece content other than yours. Hello, hey, I respect it. Anyone who has yet to die on screen can come back. I don't, I don't trust Oda. Fair. Plus they got Seraphim. Hmm. Feet shouldn't be the end. Not be all for those type of characters though. They're obviously being safe, safe for more. Actually, I'll come that up. Is, that is you, correct. You bring up, you bring up, you bring up um something I want, I want to ask Pat. Because you, you, okay. you, you, you're part of the reason why I was thinking about this. So let's go back to last week for a second, right? Because I was, uh-huh. I've been thinking about like, this is, this is, this is just if let's just, just this is just thought experiment. Kid's done. We don't really see him again. Yeah. He doesn't really have a major role, uh-huh. right? I don't know that for a fact. He could maybe pop up, pop up, pops up again, and he learned from his defeat. And I don't know, I don't know, right? But I was wondering, like. If you believe that the, an author is building up something or a character because of their like their latent potential and talent and stuff like that, and we never actually get to see it come to fruition, does it depend how that happens, or is that like a waste of time? Like, you, was was your time wasted? So I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give you a very easy example. I would argue that despite. I think I remember reading this years ago. I don't remember if it's true. I don't even know if that's true, but Gohan was supposed to take over for Goku as the main character after the Cell Saga. That's why Goten looks just like him to kind of like call back. But obviously popularity things happen, things outside the story happen, so Goku came back, right? Gohan well, always I mean, it... hold, 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 hold. Gohan from oh, from from the beginning of Z, so like like the ratted stuff, like Saiyan Saga, always had an explosive temper and his power level would rise exponentially to even surpass the strongest people there. Against Raditz, mm-hmm. the Saiyans, all over Namek, shit against Frieza after his power went over one million and he was feeding him punches in his fucking gut. Like, you know? <laughs> and then when he went SSJ2 against Cell, I would say that's, oh, there it is. Like, we've been waiting for this. Like, like what if you never got that with Gohan and fucking Cell come Meha Meha him into oblivion? Would you be pissed? That's kind of what I'm, it's essentially what I'm asking. Because for any kid fan that's disappointed, I don't think they're wrong to feel that way. Was essentially my main argument. Well, I mean, there's also like the the manga politics that you got to look at it, right? Like you brought up the popularity and shit. Gohan was actually the most popular character in the series at the time. I didn't know the that. reason. Yeah, he hit in the Daisenshu. He was the number one most popular character. The reason that Goku ended up coming back and and finishing it was because the editors decided that it would just be more fitting that way since it's Goku's story. Because we've been following him since Dragon Ball. Mm -hmm. And there wasn't really much of a protest. So in this situation with One Piece, Kid is not as popular amongst the fans as, like, Gohan is. I mean, I know you're just using it as an example. But, like, if it was Law that got done dirty by Shanks like that, there would be a massive blowback within, like, the Japanese One Piece community. They would hate that. Okay. But shit like this happening to kids, nobody gives a fuck. <laughs> he cares, I, I have a lot of angry IRL kid fans, Nat. <laughs> but, um... Um... The reason that I bring it up is because, well, I, I, I've made these, I made these points from the last two weeks, so people know my thoughts already. But I think about it from to, from totality, from top to bottom. So I'm like, okay, kid was the actual only other like in generation similar age rival Luffy was supposed to have, and then he created the other supernovas that ended up being the worst generation. Your Hawkins, your Law, yada yada, blah blah blah. I always said because Law got so popular and it was never meant to be utilized with that he was. He usurped some of the general ro- role and shine that Kid was supposed to receive. Law yes, literally stole that. From I agree him. with that. In a lot of ways, I think Law is more of what Kid was supposed to be. But because he still had both there, I don't think either of them got kind of pushed to like their maximum type of potential. If that makes sense, because Law took some of Kid's shine. So for me, it came for me the moment. Be, the, what became the deciding factor was going to be this for me, kind of like in Wano. I kind of get, I kind of get Kid's character. You don't have to go into great detail about him and his backstory like that, like, kind of like a Roshinate Korozan thing with La. But show me, show me like a lot about about him through his combat capabilities. Because I'd argue Rand from Tower of God is a good example of that. 
you le- you know I le- we learn a lot about Rand like Conan Rand from how he how he fights because he doesn't really emote outside of battle. He's just like leave me alone. I don't want to be bothered. But in battle, you get more of his personality and, and his goals and missions and whatnot. So I was hoping to get that through Kid. And all things considered, Law and Kid's team up fight against Big Mom is my favorite fight in Wano. That's my favorite fight. Right? I actually like enjoyed that thoroughly. I have one issue with it, but I enjoy it. Um. So. When so to me, all I all I probably would have asked for was a better showcase from Kid, and possibly his crew against Shanks. Obviously, we gotta we gotta hype Shanks up. We know he's one of the top dogs in the series. I get it, but to me, I'm like I just saw him take so much damage that are marmalades, fucking Hawkins banging his head against the thing, stabbing him, all this all the damage he took, and I don't know if one slash should be able to put him out of commission like that unless you split him in two. If you were split in two, I said nothing. Like, damn, it's over for you. I don't know if I believe one slash should have been able to put kid down like that. That's that's. I mean, that, you gotta that remember. Was, oh, sorry, last thing, last thing. To me, Oda tried to show kid respect with Future Sight. That was him, his version of like, if he got I an agree. attack off, it would have it would have damaged the entire fleet, even though they're supposed to be weak or whatever. So <laughs> it forced Shanks to immediately just hop into action and, and take him out. So that was like seeing him as the real threat that he is, but I don't. That doesn't work for me. But okay, I'm done. So what I'm, I'm gonna say is, for one, Shanks got hit by. I mean, not Shanks. Kid got hit by an attack that was used by Roger. So I think that's number one. Like Oda had to put the most respect that he possibly could on Kid if he could have one shot him by using a move that was a move from the Pirate King. Then, like you said. He had Shanks see into the future and be like, oh, nah, we can't get hit by this attack because the damage is going to be ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Now, on top of all that, like, bro, we already seen Shanks use his hockey to scare uh, 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 Rokugu from yeah. across the island. And that wasn't even just like in combat. So putting shit like that in an attack, and then I think he definitely caught Kid off guard. So, he didn't expect him to. to, to he, he he didn't expect him to, to zoom in so fast. Yeah. Yeah. So I I don't know if he had enough time to like hockey up and and protect himself from the blow because I mean Luffy and Law and Kid like their hockey got better, but it's not like Big Mom and Kaido where they just be having that shit on twenty four seven subconsciously. So that might be part of it. You actually bring up. You actually brought up another point that I forgot. I think I brought up in my video where it's like, well, I like, I I know it's Teach, so it's different. So like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go crazy because Teach, despite him winning, he's he, he takes damage because of the way that he fights and because of his, oh, what draws in double the damage, blah blah yada yada, and he's an idiot kind, some kind of he's just not smart sometimes, right? <laughs> Even want um um. Van Auger was like, this is what happens when you go in half cocked, idiot. Like, should we go back to this shit? Like, nah, 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 like, right? Like, so I'm like, but what I like, what I liked about it was, A, I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna go as far as other people, other people went, but I didn't know Sachi and Penguin were useful. They did something. I'm like, okay, I'll take it. <laughs> Y'all got the submarine for a reason, because when you submerge in the ocean, you can do something. Fair enough. And though La may have lost to Teach, he was able to showcase what he learned from the battle with Big Mom and Kaido. If you use a, a lot of hockey, you can suppress the devil food ability, gets rid of the malady, right? So or my lady, mm-hmm. right? So I'm like, okay, I like that. Kid didn't do that shit. Kid didn't hockey up and do nothing. He just got packed. I'm like, bro. Just, just, I just think all of disrespect to him. That's all I'm saying. And I'm not a kid fan. I don't give I don't even like kid like that. I don't so, I feel like <clears throat> Kid was always going to be a building block for Shanks or somebody strong down the line. And Oda had to pick and choose who was going to be sacrificed. It was either going to be Kid or it was going to be Law. And like I said, Law is insanely popular. Like, he passed Zoro at one point in the character popularity polls. That's, that's fucking insane. Because Zoro was number two in every character popularity poll up until that point. Okay. So he just just signaled it on Kid. Like, the Wano arc, he built him up 
have him get back up from fighting with Kaido and shit like that, and then with Big Mom, and then he was the one that put her down with the blammer after Law had the fucking All Star assist. By the way, and then now I do think that his his bull thing did break her hand. I I, I rescind my comment on that. Yeah, I think see, I, I said that. Wrong. I, I think I said. I think I know. I think he actually it was strong enough to break her hand. Her wrist. Just keep going. He was putting the wrestling moves on her. I think I commented on the video. Which, sorry, kid isn't known for his speed or reaction time regarding observations, so him getting blitzes and surprises to me. But he didn't. He, but like, we, we know he has conquerors. Like, I'm like serious. Serious question. <laughs> I'm, I'm not kidding. Have we ever seen a kid use hockey? I'm serious. I don't recall. Uh, <laughs> I know he has it. Dude. I know there will stay. I know. See, anime, anime. But I mean the manga. And the manga. Mm, yeah, the manga has never shown it. Uh, I'm not. They just it. said he got it. This kid is not serious, man. Catching someone off guard is the best strategy, I guess. I think I commented in the video, but I compared it to Kaido one tapping Brown Man Luffy, even though that makes negative sense in my head. I think that one makes more sense. And here's here here here's my I, I remember that comment. I'll push back on that just a little bit. I generally speaking, there's a point when I saw Kaido swing his club, he put everybody down with one hit. He's got a he mm-hmm. got mass massive physical strength. And you have to remember that. On top of that, Luffy was getting hit with arm and hockey. I'm um, arm and hockey, uh, conqueror's hockey, and he didn't even really know what was going on until he got hit with the three, the three worlds Ragnarok, I think it was called, on the rooftop on Onigashima rooftop, and then he's like, oh, "Okay, you're, you're coding yourself." And then he's like, "Okay, so you can use it to attack and defend," and then he started using it. Like to me, that's a little different. Kid, are, kid, is, kid should be aware of all that kind of all, all that stuff right now. So him getting cut off, cut, uh, cut off guard right now and hit like and slashed like that when I was like, oh yikes. But I guess your point though, from the standpoint of like we just we had just seen Luffy like take a lot of damage made from Katakuri, but I, I this is a hill that I'm on. I don't think most people agree with me here. I think the one thing I have to take away from the Katakuri and Luffy fight is Katakuri doesn't have extreme high level knockout strength. Sorry, I gotta go there. He couldn't put him down. We're just good at. But it's Luffy, though. I know. I'm, I'm, it's like anyone else. Anyone else is not going like that. Plus, blunt force trauma. That, is the that's worst what way I'm to be saying, there. bro. <laughs> like it's it's Luffy. Well, I think Yasi punches. I think it's, it's it's not fair to judge because it's it's Luffy that that he was the one that was fighting. Because mm-hmm. it's not like the moves that he used was just like I looked at it. I was like, eh, Luffy's gonna get back up. No, I was reading that shit like, oh. Is he going to get back up from that? Mm. Like, when he hit him with the fucking buzz cut mochi and the, and the dice mochi and the fucking... Uh, 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 um, what's the last one he moved, he used against King Python? Was it, was it, that wasn't buzz mochi? That was buzz cut? There was a... Oh, man, he got too so many fucking... I, I yeah. Remember, I don't remember. <laughs> Fearless donuts. <no. laughs> Unstoppable Muso Donuts. Muso Donuts. Uh, whenever, 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 small hope for a kid I had died in Wano. For me, let him be dead. Low key, <laughs> just die. <laughs> just stay in the ocean. I don't see none of you niggas again. No, you have not. He's in the manga. Nope, only in the anime. Kid gets clowned so much that even the anime in the anime, his conquerors didn't knock out the mob. He tried. He tried to really. Oh, I think I did see that scene. I think it, I think it, was, it was like intimidation. Like he blinked, and then it was like, oh shit. I don't know, man. But it is what it is, though. They're getting packed up. We're, yeah, I guess that's what I'm saying, bro. It's, I, it's Kid. It's not like it's Law, Zoro, Sanji, or Luffy. It's Kid. It sucks, I, but hey, fuck it. I wanted, to, I wanted to believe, man. I wanted to. I wanted to be wrong on this one. But how many people has knocked out Luffy outside of Hacks? Like, is Magellan knocking him out Hacks? I don't know. Luffy's been knocking a lot of times. He's been beating a lot. I don't remember. I can't I can't count that in my head. Uh the list would be pretty short actually. It would be Croc. Caesar. Yeah, Caesar, Kaido. Kaido. Uh, Magellan. Uh, um Yeah. Um So Croc, Caesar, Magellan, Croc. I mean I said Croc twice. Well he did knock him out twice. Sorry. Yeah, 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 <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the series is too long. Don't forget. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Don't forget. Oh, you know what? I'll probably add movies in my head. Let me remove movies because I'm thinking of like fucking. I literally just watched Film Z with my boy the other day too, so I just saw him getting fucking the bat, the Smash Buster, and his blood clot twice. I'm knocked out, so I'm not thinking about movies and good feeling. Sly, Sly said, Sanji packed him. I mean, temporarily, I guess. Luffy wasn't really fighting back, so I don't, I don't think I'm gonna count that one. But yeah. Um, oh yeah, Aokiji. I guess he froze him. I guess that counts. Uh, is freezing him a knockout though like he was still conscious <laughs> I guess not I guess not <laughs> <laughs> they said Akainu spiritual knocked him out spiritually knocked him out <laughs> psychological that's transcendental <laughs> that's very foul that's funny though I feel like he's lost his conscience in the water maybe once or twice but I don't know if I could, that, that's not a person that's just the ocean doing his thing yeah. Uh, no, you meant Fitzley like Kaido. No, it's a good point. Kai, that was a statement. The same way that this 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 Shank Smo with, with Kid is a statement. I just think that's something mm-hmm. the statement moments, I don't think you have to downplay the person who the statement is being made on, I guess is is all I'm saying. Only thing that's kind of somewhat reminds you of is the Marvel problem we used to have where anytime they want to show someone was strong, they'd have Thor or fucking Hulk loose to them, like, Oh, they're a real threat and I'm like, Y'all so lazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but think about this though. This is one I want to ask. Mm. So you don't feel like Kid getting packed the way he did wasn't on par with the way Luffy got rocked by Kaido? Because Kid also got rocked all by Luffy Kaido. did. <laughs> no, but I'm saying all Luffy did was sober Kaido up. Like he did zero damage to him whatsoever. He got the drop on him, and then he started trying to pummel him, and Kaido didn't feel none of it. He just like sent him across the village for a second. And then after that, he sighed and knocked him out. Mm. And he didn't even use his strongest move. Like, he wasn't fucking in hybrid form or none of that. He was in base. I think there's a lot of overlap, but I think a lot of enough is different that I'm that I can <clears throat> I can separate the two situations because again he, he didn't know that you could get hit or you, you could use Conk Rocket to defend or hit other people with. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry, and. Kid post Wano would be stronger now. He's supposed to be kind of like Yonko tier ish, so to speak. 300, 300 million berry bounty, him law, and Luffy are all even from a numerical bounty standpoint. So I guess I don't know. I guess I I, I guess I just expected a bit more. No, nah, well, that that does make sense actually, because he already faced yeah. the top. And like I said, okay. at least with like again, I know it's Teach, so I'm not I'm not putting Teach on the level of the other ones right now. I'm not I'm as much as you know that's my that's my guy, one of my favorite characters. But at least Law was like, here's what I learned. Okay. You, you can't, you're not keeping me a girl. I'm well, I'm a hockey out that shit. I'm like, all right, no sh- lessons were learned. <laughs> like I could I could take that, you know. Um, only thing I could I could see setting them apart is that Luffy had the opportunity to go at Kaido with everything he had at the time. Kid literally had no chance to react. They were, oh, oh, oh no, it wasn't a two against one because they both turned on him. It's weird because Kid was uh was stayed the two fight kind of with Killer like they were trading blows way before. Wano. Wait, it was weird because Kid was stayed to fight kind of with Killer like they were trading blows way before Wano while Hawkins gave up. I don't even remember what they. Said. I really don't remember what they said about that. I don't remember. I still think you go. I mean, one they shooting. said mm-hmm. that a poo betrayed them and set them up. Mm-hmm. And then Kaido gave them an ultimatum and Hawkins was like, the probability of us winning is like one or something like that. So he was just like, fuck that. He's like, nope. I'll so the cards. I don't, I, yeah, I don't really know how the fight would have gone if Killer and Kid had fought Kaido at the same time. I imagine they both got one shot. Yeah. Because if Luffy was in gear four and he got one shot, them niggas they're definitely getting one shotted. I'm sorry. <laughs> if if Luffy got one shot in Gear Four, they're definitely getting one shot without fucking backup. Mm-hmm. Even after the fight, I didn't consider Kid the Yonko level. I don't really use Yonko. I just I, that's just like a placeholder term I use because it, you guys understand it. That's not a thing in my mind. Like Yonko, Commander level, Admiral level aren't things to me. I just say it because you guys get what I mean when I say it. So those aren't actually think that, that, that a term that I believe in. Just so you know, Law and Kid dropping Big Mom to a hole is less less definitive a victory than outright beating her. In my opinion, I hear what you're saying. Like I said, I would say it's akin to yeah, they, they getting a ring, ring out. out. 
ring out, yeah, ring out a soul caliber instead of actually beating them down to zero HP. I get it. I get what you're saying, but it's still a victory. It still counts. That's 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 the only thing that I said. I was saying it still counts. And Big Mom wasn't savvy enough, experienced enough, or strong enough to to get out of that. That's on her. It's not on them. You knew you knew you knew what the you know what the did you know what was going on with the island. You know what the, the geography was. That's your fault. <clears throat> so, so yeah. Um, let's go back to Gert. So, <laughs> go back to Gert. Cause I'm sure I'm sure at this point everybody in the community is trying to place where they would put him now, in terms of like overall strength. I don't remember where I had him in the last list I made. I think the last list I made was like 2021. I don't know. I'll check in a second. But I I think I had him at the highest of the old man trio. I think I had it. I think I had it. Garb, Rayleigh, Sengoku. I don't remember, but. I remember a lot of statements of people saying, I don't, is, is Garp the first person that we've seen as a Marine use Conquerors? I know we know Sengoku has it, but we haven't seen, have we seen another Marine use it in the manga? Using Conquerors? Because I remember people Marine? saying that Marines were impossible to, couldn't use Conquerors because they were subservient to justice or some shit. I don't know, some, some stupid ass argument that niggas made up, but. Um, oh, I didn't understand that. I don't know. I, I would, I'm, I oh let me just change my camera, but my battery. But I I assume that um all the monkeys could could use conquerors. I don't know why anyone thought otherwise because I did see some people on just now on Twitter being like huh, people said that car put in this butt what of that and I'm like did people really say this? <laughs> like that is the beginning of the monkey bloodline that we know of so far. Come on, dog. It's been serious. So that was is that is that the is that the most destructive conqueror hockey attack we've seen so far? In terms yeah. of surface area. <laughs> he, he fucking put the island on the water, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and he didn't even touch the ground. Look, bro, look at the panel. Look how know, high look, up in look, the He's high, high bro. <laughs> he's tiny in that panel, family. He's tiny. I know. I know. He's tiny. <laughs> I looked at the page. I said, "Excuse me." <laughs> Like I know he's Garp the fist, but this is ah. <laughs> and I was I was talking to the group chat. I was like, I don't even think Shanks is doing that, fam. Uh, well, he don't got the fist. He maybe he could cut the tail in two. I don't know if he could punch it to oblivion. Fine. Uh, what's my expectations for the next chapter? I don't really. I don't know. I have no idea. What? Don Chinja was lucky all Garb did was mush his head in. He could have given that nigga cerebral palsy. No, he could have really just caved his skull in, broke the eyes, took the chin. He could have done all of that. He did not. He, did not. he could have done all of that, bro. He did uh, that nigga a favor. Yeah. He just, he's like, he's like I'm, all I'm going to do is punch the deformity into your head. <laughs> That's all I'm, we'll leave it at that. Luffy's like, I'm going to punch it back out. <laughs> Uh, I mean, okay, so my expectation next chapter, I don't know, like, it depends on where we go. Like, if we stay on Beehive and stuff, I guess we'll see the, 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 the damage that was actually done and see who's, who, what, what, what what's left under the ashes. Um, Kobe's safe. If you go back to Beehive, I'm assuming Blackbeard pulling up or the Blackbeard ship pulling up is going to cause some, some chaos. And Kizaru and was, what's his name again? Saturn Garcia, one of the elders, stars are coming. Go, go oh, Saturn, yes. So he's coming. I don't know if they Jay Garcia. Guys, don't know. There we go. I don't know if they could fight. So we'll see if they can or not. Kizaru's there. Borsalino. So CP zero. So we're gonna see. And, and obviously Vegapunk. So I guess we'll start to know why this was called the Egghead Incident and why it did the whatever the fuck. So uh, the first on screen, unless the anime shows something. I don't know if the anime. I don't know. Um, I I watched. <laughs> I I was very disappointed with the last episode. I was very disappointed. Um, Garp is the only of one piece. Yeah, I didn't like. I didn't like how they did the law and kid scene. I thought it was ass. Oh, um, uh, I didn't even watch. I need to catch up. Garp is. You're gonna watch it probably this Friday. <laughs> this is the coming Friday. Yeah, I'm on, so, yeah. One yeah. piece on break, so it's perfect. Yeah, Garp is the marine. To my knowledge, for conquerors. Well, well, we know. We know. Sengoku was said to have it in a fever card or SBS or something. I can't remember which one it was. Um, yes, it was. It was a um, fever card. Kind of for sure should have it. I see Fuji possibly having it. Fuji for some reason I don't think he has it, but I do think he has Future Sight. 
Shanks has ain't got the physique for that. I guess not. He not he don't got the build. He's like six six though. <laughs> he's tall. Yeah, Shanks, Shanks is pretty tall. Well, yeah. he's he's not one piece tall, but better. he's yeah. he's he's NBA he's NBA he's NBA ready. Because <laughs> Dofi's like nine feet. Fucking Whitebeard's like I think actually isn't Golden Roger like nine feet too, like or ten feet or like that. So like yeah, they're the niggas are big, man. Yeah. I don't understand how height works in One Piece. Me neither, but I've always said the smartest thing he ever did was give Luffy the power to stretch because it doesn't matter how li- how far his limbs go, he can reach them. You know, we always make fun of the this, the scene where, like, Roshi and Kid Goku, t- like, wait, did Goku's legs grow fucking, like, three? How did he kick him? He's too, he's too small. <laughs> <laughs> like, with Luffy, it makes sense. <laughs> it makes sense with Luffy. That's one of the smartest things he ever did. I don't care what no one tells me. You see big ass yeah, Katakuri, right. sixteen feet tall. Luffy punched I, I him in his fucking face. Yeah, 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 sixteen feet. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> Luffy is five seven, man. Oh, Blue man. ass. Like, can you imagine fighting someone sixteen feet tall? The fuck? <laughs> that nigga I bigger think... than my house. <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot! Um, they ain't football ready though. Shout out to the five seven Argentinian. Yeah, he's he's five eight. That's why I saw this today, but yeah, man, that was a good chapter. Um, I'm happy. I want to see uh, what I'm really, what I'm really interested in seeing is just like where this takes Kobe. I want to see Kobe's growth. I think he's gonna like, he's gonna, he's gonna grow a lot from these from these various incidents. I want to see how his growth goes. Think he's gonna level up again? Yeah, I do. I still think I, he's gonna, I think I, so too. But he I'm still just has the highest growth that, in the series, in my opinion. I'm glad that Oda has a brain and he's the one writing one piece and not all these fucking losers because when he was saying he was going to go over to the fucking pirate island to capture to, to amazon lily to capture boa hancock everybody was like oh kobe gonna be boa hancock oh. i'm like bro are you niggas fucking retarded ah i shouldn't have said that i was trying to find another word don't worry, are y'all fucking dumb i'm gonna say retarded all the time now don't worry about it I've been trying to cut it out my vocabulary. No, I just mean like, 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 like when it comes out, I don't, I don't trip, I don't, I don't care about it. <laughs> <laughs> so you're good. But not um, like it was too soon for him to be on that level, and I'm glad that Oda knew that because mm-hmm. he knows what he's doing. All these other niggas just ah, they piss me off with their fucking predictions. Because it's like, what series are you reading? I don't know. These are the same people who think Sanji and Zoro hate each other, so I don't know what to do with them. I literally uh, don't. I just, I just be tired. <laughs> I, you, I, I don't engage that much. You know, like, I I see it from afar every once in a while, but I don't really engage that much with the community. I kind of just come here and I talk. So I talk to you, talk to Simi, I talk to Nat or something, but I speak to One Piece not... not I speak. It's like it's like football NBA. I want to speak to certain people about it. I'm not, I'm not talking to everybody about this shit because I can't stand <laughs> like current NBA <laughs> fans and football fans stuff like that. So, but yo, do you think do you think do you think it would have been a lot harder? Of a, a lot of, actually, you know, you know, but you know what though? I don't know if this is weird. I do think that in a in a way, Blackbeard is much more helpless against people who are just very strong with incredibly good hockey and no devil fruit because it negates one of the the most powerful things about the yami yami no me which is exclusive to him so I was, I was, my yeah. question was do you, uh, well, how do you think things go if tg's here you still think he's getting punched <laughs> if if Tiji was on the island yeah or is he gonna close you and like pull him in or something try to crack the sky <laughs> to guard yeah that nigga's gonna get his shit bashed in, man. Come on now. I don't think he's ready either. <laughs> don't get fucking slapped. <laughs> Garp pull up on him. He gonna be doing. <laughs> the only thing, the only thing that I have to wonder with Garp, I obviously we're not. I don't think we'll know anytime soon. Maybe we'll know next chapter. Is I'm assuming Garp and a lot of the old people from like the other generation, like Rayleigh stuff, can still fight as strong as they did in the prime. They can't maintain it for long though. Yeah, I agree with that. That that's what I was also gonna say. Like, if that nigga Blackbeard didn't want to challenge Rayleigh, then he definitely not gonna fight Garp. Mm-hmm. Rayleigh oh. pulled up. He said, "Frankly, I don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like Black, you." Blackbeard says, "Time to go." 
<laughs> but like, I'm, I'm leaving I'm with something. <laughs> he took Kobe. I came around the way. I'm leaving with something. <laughs> said, I'm, I'm fine with letting the new generation do their thing. But you? Nah, I don't fuck with you, dog. Yeah, that's why he's like, I'll fight law. <laughs> 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 He's such a punk. I love him. He said, New- worst generation? Y'all not nice like that. <laughs> oh, I hope nah, Law's I can't, right I can't lie. That I, I hate that nigga, but he raw, though. That nigga pulled up. He said, I'll be taking your pony gloves, little nigga. You don't need that shit. He said, I knew one of you. Law was this going. Way. Like, he didn't care which one it was. He said, I don't know, man. If it was Luffy, it might have been a problem. <laughs> yeah, Luffy uh, would have been like, let me show you what I learned real quick. Yeah. Start laughing. Do we think he, do we think teach the conquerors or no? I actually don't want him to be on. I don't, but I think he probably will be. Um, for narrative purposes, the way the series is trending, I think he will be a conqueror as Hockey user. Mm-hmm. Um, perhaps we'll see a little clash with Blackbeard, and we'll see Garp's strategy for fighting Whitebeard back in the day. But we haven't seen Blackbeard use any hockey at all. Once. Well, actually, Once. yes, actually. No, Just when, when he blocked the, 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 the Seraphim, S-Hawk. Yes. Yeah, S Hawk. That's the only time. Yeah. That that was the first time. Mm-hmm. I almost forgot about that. Yeah. It's 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 so subtle, so you can it's easy to miss it. And plus his hand turns black anyways when he uses his ability, though it has that like misty effect to it. But yeah. Mm-hmm. Um Teach probably has to run the Quake Fruit for any type of hockey class. Fair enough. I just love the Blackbeard's out here in the streets, facts. Does t- yeah, T-Shot, yeah, t- shot's hockey, man. He does, he does. We'd, I would, I would, ass- I would assume to be able to sense hockey, you'd have to have it to some degree, right? I don't think you could yes, sense hockey yeah. and not have it. And back at Impel Down, he said Luffy's hockey got a lot better, so I think he he's been at it. Plus, like I do think sometimes you forget while Teach is like a new pirate, so to speak, he's still a veteran from the standpoint that he's like 46, 44, 46, I don't know how old he is. I think he's in his mid forties. Plus the Teach? fact that he, yeah. Yeah, he's pretty old. Yeah, right? And he's he traveled with Edward Newgate. Like he like the the amount of knowledge that he would have starting his pirate career, so to speak, his solo journey would be um in much in much more abundance than someone like Luffy who's like, All right, I got a boat. I'm out. <laughs> he's just winging it, like, you know, like he's just like, All right, I'm coming to Shichibukai, I'm gonna go to level six, I'm gonna do this. I'm like like he he kinda had it more mapped out. So, uh, I don't, I don't know if y'all count him seeing Luffy's hockey and without his ob- observation. I don't know if it's observation, but I'm, my point is, to sense it, you'd have to. I think you'd have to have it. He's scared. He's scared of Shanks too. He's forty. He's forty. Okay. Uh, seeing last week's chapter makes me really wonder how Teach scarred Shanks, according to him, when he was in full alert, just one year older than Shanks. Oh, okay, so they're, so they're, they're like the same age group. Um. You never know how like Shanks's progression like rate goes. I think people sometimes forget. Like some people are late bloomers. I've known people who didn't have a shred of less of, of athleticism, and then at eighteen, all of a sudden, they want to run and jump like they me. <laughs> you know, like some people, <laughs> some people are just late to the party, and then some people progress really, like really, like really far, really quickly. Some people are just slow. So for all you know, at that time they were comparable, but then Shanks just took off to the stratosphere. Maybe that was that, the time to get stronger. That's how I've always taken it. I felt like during the time of uh, Blackbeard scarring Shanks, it was when Shanks was just getting used to being like the guy. Because like in the in the flashback, well, I said flashback during Romance Dawn, he didn't have those scars, right? I don't. That's not the damn. Did he? <laughs> I'm gonna look right now, but keep talking. Yeah. So. No way. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. I'm remembering the panel of him looking at the fucking Sea King. Yes, he did. Okay. Yeah. 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 It's there. It is there. So this happened. A that kills what I was gonna that. say then. Uh, I, I, mean, I just said that. Um, I was talking about growth rate. So maybe Shanks, like, well, he's, he's, you're saying that he it was his first time maybe being in charge. Yeah, I like think I don't think he was a really captain for very long. Mm-hmm. So, like, at the time, he was known for his duels with Mihawk and stuff like that. I guess maybe... Shaq is a hockey man. <laughs> you mean he Shaq uses hockey in his flights just like every other pirate in the new world? 
I like that video. It's funny. Hey, man. I'm not even a Mihawk guy or Shanks guy, but that video is funny. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you why it's funny to me. I have no, I have no stakes in it. I don't, I don't care. <laughs> um, my, my friend is still convinced that D- Mihawk's a vampire. I still think that's hilarious. He's so, he's so convinced. <laughs> And Mihawk is a vampire. Just his first name is Dracul. Come on, man. He got to give it up. <laughs> get that shit up. He said he traveled in a coffin ship. He got the green flame. He said you're on a dark island. I said, bro, what? No, nah, he's funny, dog. He's funny. Um, But the way Whitebeard reacted didn't make it seem like Shanks wasn't nice. That's a good point. My point is just, I guess my point is just I like, you don't know where they were at in terms of their comparable power levels at the time of that fight. They could have been much more even then. And then Shanks became a Yonko and completely let them in the dust, and then he had to play catch-up with maybe the Yami Yami no Mi and the Quake Quake Fruit and all that shit. That's that's, that's kind of my, what I'm saying. A hockey domain expansion? Perhaps he'll pull out a hockey Susano. There's always a chance Teach sucker punched him. That's how oh, I man. imagined it. Well, Shanks said that he, his, his guard wasn't down. He made that very clear. Like he was, his yeah, guard, his was, guard up. was up. So I don't think he snook him. Let AI Trump cook. What did he say again in that one video? I can't already said, but um, yeah. I was like, fuck, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't point to make about garb and stuff. Okay, so do you have any comments on the stupid that stupid video? Like not literally the video, but like the the general rhetoric around it, because I still see it like on Twitter like today, where it's like swordman, swordsman, because I still think Shanks is stronger than him. You can't. I have what? to see. I have to see evidence that Miyak is stronger for me to like. Be like, all right, I'm wrong. I'll tell. You, I'll, I'll. I'll be the first video person to tell you I was wrong. But I still think. At this point, I think Bro. Shanks. Shanks is probably the strongest character in the verse right now. Don't mention that fucking ring-eyed fuck with the one arm god. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> that nigga too. Fuck it. <laughs> okay. Don't who mention else, wait, none wait, of these niggas. Wait, who strong. else has eyes like that? Was it Monet? Who has also the ring in their eyes? Someone else has that 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 weird ring. Maybe maybe it's not Monet. Am I thinking? I, don't know, anyway, I thought it was just those two. No, I think one more person has it, but I could be wrong. But keep going. Sorry, I think she has different eyes though. Never, but keep going. Yeah, like bro. After what I've seen, this nigga Shanks just do. Mihawk's not doing that shit, man. Huh? I'm fully confident that kid could have tanked an attack with Mihawk. That nigga was taking hits from Big Mom and Kaido, and that nigga could have took a hit from Mihawk. I don't think Mihawk is as strong as Big Mom or Kaido, honestly. Talk about like legitimate physical strength. Like, that makes sense. Okay, I hear, I hear what you're saying. Because those they they're fucking monstrous from a just a power like literal muscular like strength standpoint. That's a good point. Yeah, I I, bro, I think Ocean I think Sovereign I think Shanks is kind of maybe more like a white beard. But like he's flesh and blood, but he has incredible attack power. If that makes sense, I'm sure he could still defend himself with conquerors, but I don't think it works the same way as being Mama Carlos. I yeah, yeah, totally like wrong. those were like indomitable mountains that had to be moved. Mm-hmm. And and Whitebeard and Shanks are more like raging storms. Mm-hmm. They said, um, I, especially I, once Whitebeard got going. I could easily see Mihawk splitting an island open, one shot and kid, all that. Um, Mihawk's down. I'm not going crazy like the rest. I'm just waiting and seeing. Fair enough. Yeah, we're gonna. But my thing is, it. I don't like the fact that people can't distinguish the difference between sword play and using a fucking sword. There is a difference. Most people, most, most people are just like, die with this shit. there's like, they, they use a sword, so they're a swordsman. And I like, I like get it on a very, very, very like surface level, but I think there's, just, there's a bit more nuance. Like, I get what you mean. Like, to me, Zoro's a swordsman because he like dedicates himself to the blade, to the sword, Bushido, whatever, like takes care of them, exactly. tends to them, doesn't want them to be chipped, things like that. Like, that's somebody who like really cares about swordsmanship and swords play and whatnot. Whereas, like, having Napoleon in your hand is just, like, a weapon to me. Like, it could have been a bat, exactly. it could have been a, a, a glaive, a tonfa, whatever would have worked. So, like, to me, Big Mom is not a swordsman, but... Yeah, it's I'm... just a conduit for a means of attack. Mm-hmm. That's literally it. If you substituted Kaido's club with a fucking sword, he'd still be doing the same shit. Swinging that shit down with thunderous authority so 
Let it's me, not the same. If you if you take the swords away from Zoro and give him a club, he's not gonna be attacking the same. Yeah. This like if Shanks had a blade, is sounding a lot like LeBron isn't a score argument. How so? Because he isn't. The fuck? <laughs> like it's the same with that nigga too. I that nigga's not a fucking mm-hmm. a scorer by natural terms in terms of NBA. A scorer is like motherfucking AI, Kobe, T Mac, Jordan. Those are scorers. LeBron is physically gifted that he can score on anyone, but he doesn't have the same type of mentality when it comes to scoring like they do. I think he's a scorer, bro. Bro. My point, my only point is this. I hate the argument that, yo, look how many points he has and he's not even a scorer. That shit does not move me. <laughs> I hate that argument so fucking much. I'm like, my nigga, he, he's a scorer. I, I get your point. His mentality isn't just locked into scoring and he doesn't have like the full diverse skill set that other uh, elite scorers have. But yeah, scorer. you know what I mean. Yeah. But, like, um, can he score? Of course. Is he the best scorer in NBA history? No. <laughs> Yeah, I, I but yeah, um yeah, like 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 King is not a sword, you know. That's that he, when, he admits that though. He's like, I just whatever whatever I gotta do to fucking put you in the dirt, I'll use it. <laughs> Don't care. Exactly. A gun, a sword with fucking pincers in it, whatever. So there's that. The Lunarian DNA. But I hear you. I, I get I, I I've always understood that argument. I, I, I actually somewhat understand the other side is just like we could add, like, we can add nuance. Like, is Zoro a hand to hand combatant? What y'all, Kung Fu? Like, no, he doesn't do that. Doesn't mean he's useless without his swords, but with, but his, his sword, swords, how he, he he fights, you know? So there's that, but we'll see what happens moving forward. I hope that this Eggcat incident hits. I need it to hit because Eggcat hasn't been moving me at all. So they got to inject some life into that island right now. So <clears throat> I need that. I need that. I think Garp. Oh, I think Garp. I'm trying to think about what's gonna happen to him. Like, what's his role gonna be? Kind of moving forward. I'm some. I'm slightly worried. Not now, but for a little later. But we'll see. Mutodio goes Raza. Yeah, yeah. Um, his his Mutodio dra- dragon. No Yeah. Yeah. That's funny. I just watched Film Gold yesterday too. So I saw music against Dice. That friend was popping off. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, we had actually seen this. Him, we had seen him do this before in the um the Davy back fight against that really big slick giant. I think it was one of them. Some somewhere there. I think he used um a no sword style move because you could he couldn't bring weapons in there even though they were cheating and they brought weapons. And the ref was looking. <laughs> the ref was looking the way. The ref didn't see it. <laughs> the ref didn't see it. <laughs> That's just uh, so funny, man. How do people not laugh at that? I don't know. Some people don't have souls. Not because. Now me getting pissed at the referee makes it even funnier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can still be a swordsman and be around other areas. Look at Dante. He's basically a walking arsenal, but he's definitely a swordsman. All right. I'm I don't walk- think Dante is a swordsman. I think Virgil is, though. I, 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 would, I would agree that he's more of a swordsman. Dante uses what? demonic abilities and actually he has a lot of weapons though that's a good point I don't know I don't really know it's tiring argument both ways either you hold a sword then you're automatically weaker than Mihawk or you have to define what a swordman is to which there's only a half legitimate swordsman in Taibo meaning very little I want to make something very clear this isn't something that I think about only in terms of One Piece this is something I think about in totality like this could be any other series right and if there's a guy who like meditates with the sword and takes care of it and cleans it and that's his main method of attack and blah 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 and he you know he has like EI techniques and stuff. I will consider him more of a swordsman than somebody who's a, a decent or like a good sword user can use it well, but also like shoots a gun and kicks niggas and shit like that. Like you can mix it all together, mm-hmm. I hear you, but I it's not again, it's not our I, I don't have strong opinions on this. I have my thoughts. I think it's nuanced, but you know, you can believe what you want to believe. It's fine. Uh, it's, not that, it's, not that deep, it's not that deep to me. Sanji and Zoro banter before <laughs> Davy back kills me to this day. That was good. I just need Mihawk to do something in general. <laughs> That'd be nice. 
gonna be nice. We'll see though. When he'll, he'll get his he'll get his moment in the sun. Is Link a swordsman to me? Yes. Yes. But you also you also have to take into consideration there's certain versions of Link where he's actually like 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 Breath of the Wild Link, he he's the son of a knight. So he was trained with with with, with, with in, in the ways of the of the sword, and then he got the master sword, and he didn't have the Hylian shield at that moment. He pretty much just wielded the blade. Yes. So Link is, Link is a swordsman to me. It looks a little different because you got the sword and shield, and that's more of a like I guess more European blade and style and style of fighting. It's not like samurai, but it's still sword. It's still sword to me. Maybe 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 that's maybe it's a stream idea. We get it. We get a bunch of characters with a, with a sword, and we're like, are they a swordsman? Yes or no. <laughs> Is Kirito a oh, sword? I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Twilight Princess Farm Boy Link is my go. He's one of the. He's one of the. He's one of my favorite um incarnations of Link. But my favorite one is probably um Breath of the Wild. Um, actually, maybe, maybe Oran Village Link is my second favorite. I'm trying to think. Well, I like it more than um Ocarina of Time and Skyward Sword Link. Probably, I think so. I do. Yeah. So maybe maybe so maybe it's my second second favorite version. What do you think happens next, bro? What's what's, what's next? You, got, you have any ideas? Any wants? Any needs for One Piece? I would prefer that we stay here, see the carnage and the destruction mm-hmm. that the legendary hero has laid waste to. But honestly, I feel like we can go anywhere. It's it's starting to get a little bit haphazard with how much we're moving left and right. Because we're seeing Blackbeard fight Law, and then we're back in Egghead, and we're seeing Shanks fight Kid, and then now we're seeing Garp on fucking Pirate Island and shit. Next thing you know, we might go back to Egghead. Chaos? When all the forces come, Blackbeard, St. J. Garcia, Saturn, whatever, Kizaru, oof. CB0, I guess. I don't know, I don't know you guys know, I all respect CB0, but... <laughs> I don't rate these niggas. I just don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't like them. There's no reason for you to. But my point is, I never did. Like some people, I came around eventually. I was like, no, <clears throat> still no, no. <laughs> oh, they be trying to trick me. Why? Because Wild Blue just awakened. No, bro, he sucks. <laughs> Stupid ass hat. Hey, that shit was funny. That nigga Luffy said so. If I free y'all and you realize you can't beat me, y'all when? gonna go away quietly, right? He said, "When <laughs> you really can't beat me, and I'm gonna try to underhand it like get my friends." Like, bitch, I'm, I'm, <laughs> so I'm capturing you first. I said, "All right, man." Do you do I think Saturn's gonna be a problem? I have no idea. I've never know what to, I've never know what to do with the girls. Say they just sit in a room and be like, "Uh, blow up his island." Oh. Yeah. <laughs> This, this, I think this is the first time we've seen them like not all together. Mm-hmm. Not that one of them is going to Egghead by himself. What if he dies and that's like the big incident and they blame it on Luffy or something? Sorry, just a quick thought I had. Like in the in the in that would the, be fire in the in the like the chaos of Egghead. He the uh, Elder Star loses their life and that's like a big deal. That's a that would be fire. I would love that. Yeah, fuck that. I don't, I don't like the old right? niggas anyway. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> what you will call it? Um, I've always thought that the the nigga with the Shodai Kitetsu, I thought he could fight. But oh yes, I remember that, that. Yes, the sword, the swordsman one. I remember the one with the blade. Yeah, yes, I remember. People say that he's yeah. the one. He's the, and he looks. Is he the one? Is he the one who looks the youngest too? He the bald nigga with the glasses. Oh, that guy. I think it's. I think the one with like the Sanji head. I don't know. Uh, still tilts me that Rob Lucci awakened and not a single Zoan in the Zoan army were. What's the Zoan army? You mean Kaidos? The, 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 the gifters? The grifters? You mean them? Those aren't Please real. don't bring those, up those, 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 those kingdom pirates. Those, 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 those fruits are not real. <laughs> 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 now, nah, if you want to talk about, like, king king or, like, jack or, like, um, queen, I, I, I hear you. The, the, those guys are... The, 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 no. <laughs> They're abominations, nigga. It's a giraffe growing out his ass. Like, what are we talking about? There's no awakening that. <laughs> you talk about four tricks. Four tricks. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, fucking Batman, Bruce Wayne. Like, no. <laughs> 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 
They're abominations. <laughs> nah, that but um, so funny. I think the one that's disappointing really is is, is Kaido. Kaido's the one I was shocked that didn't get the chance to, I guess, awaken. But I don't know, maybe, maybe. But then again, his his I in his head, hockey's more important. So maybe that's part of the reason why. Couldn't tell you. Uh, sword girl says known as it's Gandhi. Oh yeah, that's what oh, that's what Ty calls him, right? I'm taking real zones, not the weird ass ones. Uh, why y'all disrespecting Bruce D. Wayne? <laughs> Black Spirit Crew would would beat the dog shit out of Kaido's crew, in my opinion. I gotta be honest, Kaido's Kaido's crew, as far as Yonko crews go, so far has been the least impressive from top to bottom. It's it's very top heavy. Like I I respect King and Queen, I don't respect Jack. Um, we know we don't we don't know how I feel about Jack. <laughs> the the Toby Ropo, they're a hit or miss. Uh, Sasaki, I don't take seriously. I like Black Maria. I think OT is good too. Page one sucks. Drake is okay, I guess. And who's who is the best one? So if we line them up against the Blackbeard Pirates, you know so the what? Blackbeard Pirates definitely got some fucking stinkers. You know what? I don't even know. I have to. I haven't truly seen the BB Pirates in, in action like that. Now I'm thinking about it. I gotta, I gotta see a bit more but they, before I make a thing like that. They, they, they suck, though. You know this. Because so. think about it. The matchup is going to be what? King versus Shiryu, right? We can agree on that. Yeah, I guess, yeah. And then Queen will fight who? Samoan Wolf? Actually, I actually have no idea. <laughs> I don't know. Because <laughs> Burgess is trash. <laughs> exactly. Burgess sucks. Like <laughs> Doc Q, I don't think is actually a combatant. I think he's just a doctor. But he, you know, he got poison apples that like, explode or whatever. Like okay, malady. Or I, ain't nobody scared of him. <laughs> Katarina Devon is fucking ugly, so we know she can't fight. I don't know, man. I I I think I hate King. <laughs> <laughs> What's the nigga's name? Arthur? I don't like him. He sucks. I'm sorry. I do not read him. I couldn't believe that. I couldn't believe. I couldn't believe him. So hold on. Why do you hate him so much? The stupid little fire gimmick defense for his beat, and that's all it took? You suck, bro. <laughs> you fucking <laughs> suck. Oh, my God. He stinks. Like, okay. Obviously, I don't respect Jack. I'm sorry. I don't really like. Um, I, I, I kind of like, like like certain moments that the Topi Ropa have. Black. Maria is probably my favorite. My, who am I missing? I don't like Page One. I don't like OT. I, don't, I actually really don't like Who's Who, but he's the strongest in my opinion. I think um, OT is very tenacious. I like her. No, I get. I don't know. She she didn't move me, but I, I I'm not. I don't think she's like a bad character. I just don't care for her. But uh, I like Queen. I do. I like him. He kind of he kind of mid though. <laughs> Kind of mid though, like I don't know, cause then like I got a big mom's crew and I'm like, I'm like Katakuri, and like I I don't dislike Oven. The Oven did his thing. We got Jerk My Belly Button Genie guy. He sucks. Daifuku, I don't like Daifuku. <laughs> smoothie, smoothie. Oh. I absorb water, get big and miss the ship for five hours. Like, <laughs> like what? I don't know. I don't know. Marco nice though. <laughs> Smoothie, she cute, but she don't do nothing. Uh, Pero Sparrow, he's about his business. I fuck with him. Mm. Mondor, I think, is also really underrated. Mm. I think he's really good. Mondor. The nigga that look like a clown with the red nose that trap people in a book. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that ability's underrated. Okay, sorry. Yeah, I, th- I think I'll he's really good. I the creamy face nigga that, like, punched Luffy. I'm like, him? What did he do? No, not that nigga. <laughs> um, not that nigga. Gazelle man blitz Luffy and Zoro don't forget. Yeah, it's the Flash. Kaido's crew is the 2018 Cavs. Van Arga maybe. Say he's the Russell. Flash. <laughs> 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 Van Arga. I'm like, why? Like, like, why are you gonna cheat on Lee? Like, Gazelle? Like, that's so embarrassing. Um, I think she can fight because she's ugly. Oh, wow. <laughs> Come on, Pat. How's ugly some sex are with this? <laughs> I think the fruits give them more of the advantage I like. I can see Bizarro soloing most outside of Queen of Queen and and, and King. 
King was cool in my opinion. I just hate that Zoro's solution to winning the fight boiled down to just continuing to attack until the invincibility frames were gone. Queen is trash, not midnight. Moody still hasn't done shit. Montdor the one with the fat <laughs> You know what's crazy? I would have thought Flambe first, and then he would have came to mind. Because <laughs> she had that weird floating bum shit going on. I don't know what the fuck was going on with that. <laughs> um, the thing I like about Queen, personally speaking, is I do think to reach the absolute pinnacle, the zenith, the top of the mountain, if you will, the pinnacle, um, you got to have extremely proficient hockey, right? But I like the idea of people getting really strong without needing to do all that. So the fact that he has a devil fruit and cyber cybernetics and like the wind smoke germa technology, if you will, is what makes him be strong. I actually kind of like that. And I, would, I wouldn't mind seeing more of that. Where it's like, this guy's got like good, decent enough maybe observation and, and like an arm, arm in hockey. But like, he's strong because... He's created all these re- this really cool tech, and and that's how he fights. Like I'm, I'm, I've always been cool with that. Like Gil Tesoro in the movie, like created an environment where he was pretty much a god and invincible because of all the gold and the gold dust fragments that go into your body that he can turn you into stone. And he wasn't using, he didn't use no hockey or anything like that. He just fought with gold and his ability, and then he turned into the big thing. Like that stuff is fine to me, honestly. I don't know if you guys agree with that. Doesn't bother me. I like hockey though, but I don't need it. What about the chicken dude who fought Pedro? Chicken dude? Oh, Bonsoir. Uh, what was his name? Tamago? Baron Tamago, yes. Or I should say Tamago. That's how they say it. Baron Tamago. Uh, what about The nigga's actually a problem because he can hatch. Like rehatch himself, right? Yeah, yeah. Essentially. Yeah, and he evolves. It's like, when I think of him, I think of Kuro Momotaro. Okay. Because, like, you beat him once, and then nigga just evolve, and he's stronger now. Uh, but, did, did I, did I, did I, did I, did I, did I, did I see that they said that Shanks was going to become, was actually going to start, like, actually, like, making moves now? And that started with One Piece Film Red? I, I, I think I remember seeing that, right? Yes, yes, okay. that was so said. So he'll be, he'll be prominent in the story. I'm interested to see what's going to happen with him because I, st- I still need my prediction. To hang. It's a fake prediction, but it's a real one. I think that's cool. I just don't like when characters could clearly benefit from having it, just don't at least have some hockey, even if it's not good. That's fair. Make uh, Bakarat's ability canon of the lucky, lucky fruit. I do. Zoro committed these shits on it for some reason. Oh, okay. Um, the lucky lucky fruit was kind of broken, but Usopp outsmarted her. That was. I'm still not sure how you put the slot machine in there, but <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's all right. <clears throat> they just shot her in the face. What what pisses me off is that phase phase nigga. I'm like, bro, Sanji, if you don't kick this nigga in out of orbit. <laughs> I'm so mad at Sanji that whole movie. He got the gun. He, he go, pew, zoop, pew, pew. I'm like, that shit's trash. Beat his ass. <laughs> I said, don't kick him. <laughs> I'm so angry. I said, that's his move? Bro, getting hit with a bullet in one piece is the equivalent of getting hit with a kunai. Like, that's just not, that's just not raw. Don't get hit by that. <laughs> anyway. Shaw Whitebeard. That was different. He was already on your last likes. But, um, Okay, I guess we're gonna see what Shanks is doing because Shanks was in film red and we got to see him do a little some some. He did um he did blitz, Cesaro. Why why do why do they keep why do they keep doing that hands up gimmick? Stop that! <laughs> stop 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 embarrassing the goat. All right. He said flashback guns though. <laughs> flashback guns kind of go crazy. <laughs> the dude zero fought in film goal got on my nerves. Oh dice, yes. Mochi. I'm like, hey, yo. That movie was just interesting to me because I'm like, yo, it's a save Zoro movie. I kind of like this. That's interesting. I don't think, like, usually it's Nami who gets kidnapped. <laughs> or, like, or you think it's Robin with the Poneglyphs or something. Poneglyphs. But it was actually Zoro. So. That movie's still good. Not my favorite, but still good. Film Z is still my favorite movie. I would, I, would, I would kill to have Zephyr in the series. Or be like, you know, I would kill. I like that guy. Oh, the one no now was said to die. Bro, 
he's he's top he's top he's top six <laughs> for me for me I like that nigga. Um, I wanted to like I like I like bu- I like Bullet for like how he was used. He was he, but he was pretty one dimensional. But I don't have a problem with Bullet. He was raw. Wait, when he packed up all the fucking supernovas, I guess I guess not Zoro. Law he beat earlier. That was that was crazy. I said, oh shit, <laughs> fuck the ass up. He didn't have conquerors though. He had that super Buso or whatever it was. He turned blue. I don't know how he did that, but still haven't seen the bullet film. Stampede. Stampede's good. I think Stampede's like a really good fan, like fan, like movie for the fans. That's what. That's that's what I. That's what, like what I left the theater like. I got like, f- like uh treated as a fan, like seeing, because at that point, at that moment in time, we hadn't even really seen a lot of the supernovas post time skip do anything. So it was nice to see them like in action to some degree, with the little beginning race and stuff, and then seeing. Like Sabo, Boa, Smoker, Crocodile, Law, Luffy, and I guess I, I guess well, I'm with a buggy and that'll be nice. Um, team up, that was dope. I had a good, I had a great time. I'll never forget how how loud I screamed when 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 Boa Hancock kicked him back. I'm like, I know she's fucking nice. <laughs> Just screamed that shit out. She said perfume, Stop. not once, but twice. <laughs> you hit my beloved. Yo, come up. Yo, come. I said, yo, it's time. She kicked him, and his whole body went back, and I said, yes, I told you she's nice, bro. Stop playing with her. So, yeah. Put some respect on the pirate empress's name. Mm -hmm. They call her Kaizoku Jote for a reason. Speaking of all the movie villains, I only like Zephyr and Shiki. I like Gasparde, Shiki, Zephyr, and... um. Bullet works for me. I'm not gonna like sit here and be like, oh my god, so intricate, so well written. But he works. He works. Um, I I don't like Ruta. I hope that bitch is dead. I hope those mushrooms killed her ass. Dumbass bitch. Stupid ass so goofy ass bitch. I would have drowned her. I would have drowned her in the water. Shut your ass up with that dumbass singing. <laughs> I'm like, what's I, your problem man I I, I I was like I'm gonna watch the movie again and I went straight to the last scene with, with Shanks and, <laughs> Shanks and Luffy teaming <laughs> well, no I went to the part where Yasop and um, when Usopp finally feels his dad's um, food I was going to hockey that's all, that's all I watched I don't watch anything else I need the next movie to be just hands bro pull up to an island and we'll just fight for an hour Bullet work and play turn to a Gundam. That is a thing that he keeps doing. That I'm like, you could stop. <laughs> like, we don't have to keep fighting a really big thing. Like, I like when we fought Zephyr. Like, just human, like human boss fights go hard. All right, you don't have to fight a Titanic boss. You know, like I like when I just it's just Dante versus Virgil. I don't have to fight some big ass demon all the time. You know what I'm saying? So. That would be nice. The but the assimilation of fruit thing was was crazy because of how massive he was, and he was still able to to coat himself. You know what I'm, you know you know what I was wondering. I, obviously that, that that's a that's a non canon movie, but do you think like the bigger you are and the more, let's say like you have like a really big weapon, do you think it takes more energy to coat to coat that to coat that in, in arm and hockey, as opposed to just like your so fist? you mean like. So like the you know like, you, area. Yeah, so you know how like they were like, how was he able to like use so much hockey on a body that big? Like he would defend himself even with Buso, even though he was assimilating that really big rock, whatever form. It made it seem like it was impressive, like it takes a lot of extra energy and willpower to do that. So I was wondering, just just out of curiosity. Like how this came to me. I don't know. But like I was wondering, like, why does it why didn't kid ever in the history of his life hockey up any metallic construct he made? What was the reason? Is it tiring? <laughs> I'm serious, serious, serious. Not even not even for like a punk gibbs. Is it punk gibbs the one where he slams you with the fist? Not even for like those. Hockey that up. Have you seen Luffy hockey up the big ass fist? Like I don't waste you. He's no way, yo, the kids don't waste you. Um Oh, the, all right. Next movie, we fought in Giants and Alba. I kind of with Ashley. I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now take it. The Giants are cool. Bullet, um, Slugfest are my favorite. That's kind of why I like the end of like Z too, because they just they're just tired. 
they're they're exhausted and just volcanic ash around them and it's just a slug fest just punch punch who goes down first i love i love that maybe this ain't good at stretching it over all that metal lmao i think he's fucking garbage what is he doing in the new world get out of here I'm so tired of him that's why he's dead in the ocean that picture with him, <laughs> that picture with him, um, <laughs> underwater from the punch he took from the take from Kaido, with the going Mary head underwater is fucking crazy. That that pic that picture killed me when I first saw my side. I was dying a lot. And I, or that one, or that one meme. There's two memes that made me laugh. Like, oh, thank God, um, Zoro's here to block it. They're like, that's killer. Oh, wallahi, I'm finished. <laughs> 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 that, that shit killed me, bro. That shit was so funny. Oh my god. The other one was um Hey yo, he's like, hey yo, what did he say? Yo, a Beckman, yeah. Who was that fucking burger I just packed up? I don't know, LMAO. <laughs> they just had <laughs> Why they do that nigga like that, man? Oh shit. Holy shit. Nah, that nigga really got packed up pretty bad. Yeah. That's life. That happens. That's one of the toughest cells I've seen in one piece. Like, that nigga got done dirty. I think, I think what makes it extra funny is I'm like, he cut through the railgun and killer and still got, and still one-shotted you and knocked out the, fought, the, the like, nameless people on your crew. I'm like, y'all just looked bad. <laughs> As a collective, too, you know? Yeah. Captain down, number two down, and the rest of the fucking crew swearing fealty, offering shit up. And then they get packed, too. Yep. Under, and, 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 and what was funny was, like, I remember, was it, it was Heat? I think it was Heat or Wire, one of them, who were like, is that, is that Black Leg? Is he begging for his life? How pathetic. Soon this kid went down. Police spare our captain. Take our rope, Polyglyphs. I'm like, ah, look at this bitch-ass nigga. Oh, he folded so quickly. Oh, my God. Don't ever talk about him again <laughs> in your life. <laughs> he was the, he had, he had that shit folded up nicely. <laughs> not a, not a crease in the paper. Bro, stop talking to hey, me. Here, Mr. Shanks, please. Take the Polyglyphs. Just spare us. Mr. Shanks Senpai. <laughs> <laughs> Um, let me see if I can find it. I don't. Oh, I found one of them. Oh, who I don't know. Let's see if I can find the other one. But yeah, um, yeah. I almost hope. I imagine it would. It works better concentrated in certain areas versus trying to have it sustain across a larger area or using an object that are are far from the body. I kind of get that inclination. I just wish that. It, I guess I wish I can just concretely say that and like feel confident saying it. But I will say that to me that's true. And me, me, and I think. I actually think when, when I was the first time I brought this up, Pat was the one that immediately caught on to what I was saying, where I was like talking about full body armament and how every time someone used it, they ended up losing in like the next like panel or shot. And we were saying mm -hmm. it's better to concentrate it in one place because you can maximize the defense there instead of spreading it thin. Because remember, yeah. we we're talking about how when he got hit with like the Rito Schneider, he reacted just when it hit him to like mitigate the damage um, with Dofi and, um, and Luffy. And after Luffy kind of started doing that a little bit, I think um, in a Katakuri fight, where I'm like, that's probably the better way to defend yourself. Like, like hawking up early and maybe covering more of a surface area gives you more defense everywhere, but it's not as potent, I guess. That was my takeaway, yes. at least. Because concentrated to one spot, you're focusing all your efforts in protecting this area, so you're leaving everything else exposed. Mm -hmm. Whereas you do the full body shit it's just like you're a little harder to hit but it's not like you're impregnable Agreed. or harder to hurt i should say um okay i found this picture i, I don't have to find the other one it might be on my phone actually this is the almost clicked i almost clicked a wild ass folder and i have to just cut the stream off and delete it <laughs> so you guys saw that <laughs> big man take it's like, hey, Beck, who was that guy just one shot? I was one shot at, I don't know. I love <laughs> Um, A tale of the hockey men. Rip Virgo and Pika, those bums. Let me not say that. Virgo versus Smoker was one of my personal favorite fights. I enjoyed that fight, too. 
I wish Oda would outright state stuff like that, though. It makes sense implicitly, but for all we know, if you're strong enough, you can do whatever you want. Pro- possibly. I would say, like, you can, you can, I don't know. I, I do wish there was a much more definitive way of knowing that for for sure, for sure, but such is life. I do think that a lot of times when he does display things um, from an art from an art standpoint, people don't pick up on it. Like sometimes I do think people need something to be written in text for them to believe it, and I don't always know why. My favorite example to use is is Luffy having future sight. I've never understood why people fought that for as long as they did. They're like, no, he's not actually using it. So I'm like, so the guy who just the guy who has it, who's fighting oh. him, saying he's using it, he don't got it. I don't think it's really a way to spell it out ever even better than what Oda did. The nigga Captain Curry is the first character we've seen to be able to do this. Mm-hmm. And he's saying that the nigga that he's fighting right now is doing this. <laughs> How much more clear can you get? And I, t- I talk about reliable na- narrators, but he was the only person we knew who could use that at the time. Why would I not believe him? <laughs> I just didn't understand. I never understand. Then somebody else that. says it, and it's like, oh, you can't do it. Yeah. <laughs> so didn't it, <laughs> didn't it, t- it took until he was commanding um old man Hio, right? I guess the llama guy. Yeah. The, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what that's, that's how long it took. I'm like, y'all are not serious about life. It's like, excuse me, the fuck you mean? Mm-hmm. I, oh, this one's funny too. I, I forgot about this one. Let me show you guys this one. Uh, where did I put it? Where's all files? It's like it's, it's like the growth of kid. <laughs> So you see him as a kid at the side, pre time skip, post time skip. Then you just see his fucking shattered glasses <laughs> fall into the ground of blood. <laughs> now, you notice know that there's there there are so many there. There was one guy who doc like had like a like a Twitter video where he could documented everybody who's like kid, kid, kid about to show why he's the real red hair. Did a this, did a that. <laughs> he had all the receipts. I'm like, that's petty. <laughs> <laughs> and then they go on a summer jam screen. Yeah. You hate to see it. That was funny as hell. Uh I can't I wish I could find the other one I want. I want that one so badly. I I don't know where I put it. Um say, yo, yeah, that was that was good though. Do you think you you think we'll see him again? Kid? Yeah. I think he's done, honestly. Like if we see him again, he's not gonna be like Luffy. I'm here to help. <laughs> yeah, like it, it. He got packed up by Kaido. That was one thing. It was off screen, so you know we gave him the benefit of the doubt. Plus, you already, you, you know, my philosophy has always been that nigga went in there with no training or whatever. And he just took his lumps and fought back. So I respected him for that. Mm-hmm. But. The way he got worked on screen this time, it wasn't even just him. It was him, his his first mate, his whole crew, and the ship. The ship got sunk. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it's not looking good. We had to see other one I seen where he's this, this kid. He just sees Shanks. He just, you know the white guy who's blinking. He blinks. Then he opens his eyes. He's in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to be fair, I think the part of the problem is how it was being presented. Katakuri and Shanks had panels of genuine peaks into the future, whereas Luffy at the time had standard observation silhouettes like Usopp and Fuji. It made sense to me that Luffy actively seeing the future was enough to fully confirm it. I don't agree with that one personally, but we each their own. I thought it was very obvious. I don't think Oda knew how he wanted to visualize it. I, don't, I still would argue he doesn't really know. How, he doesn't really. He, they kind no, of say he it. does. You just, you just don't. He does. He. I, it's been several examples, but I've shown them to you. He zooms in on Luffy when he's doing it. I don't know, bro. It's a little exclamation mark above his head. 
no dog i need those i need i need i need this the um the zone stream stroke stream light <laughs> I need the zone. Oh, I can't find a wallahi on finish one. I don't know where I put it. Wallahi on finish. That one was the best. Like, oh, sh thank God Zoro's here to block it. That's killer. Wallahi, I'm done. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. Good times. Uh, he can come back with the Don Creek on his crew. Don Creek? Yo, it's time. The East Blue Legend. In the new world is over. They said that sounds like a reach pat. I I, I don't know. I I haven't seen, like t to me the anime showcases it. So the anime I'm not. It's fine. Um, I remember the first instance of me really liking it. I always bring it up. The Heart of Gold special with Mad Treasure, when Usopp, Sanji, Zoro, and Luffy sense the camouflage ship and they all turn and their eyes are kind of glowing and it has a little stream. I'm like yeah, that's 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 using observation. It's not a reach. If I have the time, I will pull up these panels and I have Naya show you what I'm talking about. Save them, save them, save them, and we'll go through them. Because some, some people used to say there's, there are some lines in the eye. Something like that. I don't know. So it's like, it's like a quick little zooming in, kind of. Like, Luffy will make a type of acknowledgement that he just saw something. I'll keep an eye out for it. Cause I, have it, I, I believe have it. the mm -hmm. first time I saw it was when Roof Peace started after he rocked Kaido shit that first time. And then he was chatting to Zoro and shit. He got kind of distracted a little bit. And then Kaido was like, a straw hat. And then Luffy was like, ah. Mm -hmm. and, man, fuck my Hold on. Let me pull this shit up right now. I, I found it. I found it. I found it. You see it? No, 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 the meme, the meme, the meme. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My pack is coming. Thank God. Thank God Zoro's there to block it. No, it's me, killer. Wallahi, we're finished. <laughs> <laughs> Off topic thoughts on Real Madrid, baby shaking Barcelona. Krim Benzema, 0 out of 10, right? Maybe, maybe y'all should keep saying 0 out of 10. You keep showing up. That's double, that's back to back. Real Madrid. Hatches. Real Madrid can suck my dick. That's how I feel about it. <laughs> Bitch ass niggas. I got I got no attachment to either team. Ronaldo's not there no more. So, but um, yeah, get fucked. We beat them in three straight classicals. They was due for one. That's all it is. That's true. But wasn't this the Copa del Rey semis? We beat them in the first leg. Oh. And then they 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 came through and fucking. See, it's right here. It's just like I said. He zooms in. It's an exclamation mark. So, so you want me? You want me to go to um to to chapter um a thousand? Chapter one thousand one. Okay. Which page is this? One, two, three. Is the the bottom of page two going into three? And then the next page after that. Damn it! Even though I saw the future, he's too fast. They could gander. Battle of monsters in Onigashima. Excuse me, Mora. So he said page three. Bottom of page two going to three. And then it finishes on page four at the top. So you're saying you're saying this is a this so you're saying this is a frequent and consistent thing? Yes. Alright, I'll keep an eye out for it then. It looks to me like he's just reacting. Because plus Kaido's coming towards him. Well, but I, I, I can't tell. it's the it's it's the focusing like Luffy in the past when I'm reading One Piece would react. Sure. But you can see like these little lines. That's like something is important is going on. And then it's the exclamation mark at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And then it's what he says after the fact. Even though I saw the future. Okay. What about, like, did Cat and Korea have the same thing? With Cat, I think he just said it every time. Okay. I'll yes. have to look for Cat. With Kaido, he just did it one time when he was doing his thieving drunk. Yeah, he, he was like, you think you're doing something special? <laughs> <laughs> that, that shit scared the fuck out of me. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I was like, he said, he said, 
I'm not surprised that that's not a specialty in terms of like hockey and whatnot. So that made sense to me. I wasn't mad at that. I was like, you know what? It's probably not. You probably you're brute. So like you you are an advanced conqueror's merchant. You know. So <laughs> there's, nothing, that, there's nothing wrong with that. Anything you think we forgot say. to mention? Um. Try to put it on the tongue. It, we didn't talk about uh Kujaku. Suru's granddaughter. Oh shit, that's her name. Sorry. Oh yeah, that was cool. That was interesting. I forgot. About, I forgot to mention that. Yeah, Navy uh, HQ Real Admiral Sword Member Kujaku, a tamer woman who ate the Whitmer fruit, granddaughter of Great Staff Officer Sudo, who's like like the ultimate veteran marine, in my opinion. She's whipping. Yes. So was she the? Do you think was she the one moving the buildings? In your opinion, or was it gross? Or was it yes. Them? It, it. She. Well, I mean, it could have been both. Because there was like, did the building just tremble or something? And then like they, we see her whipping that shit. That was funny as fuck. Mm-hmm. She likes Sadie from Impel Down. I like, I like Ibar- her outfit. I like Ibari's Ibari's um moment with the flower gun, flower. With this nigga Bruce and this dumbass hat. <laughs> Hate that hat so much, bro. Garp is laughing. Boy, ha ha. He's not worried. <laughs> the nigga knew what he was coming to do, man. Put y'all down. I think the chapter that I was called hockey is this. I think it's um, hockey, whatever. Find it. Where's it at? Oh, there we go. Sure on hockey. So grab it getting busy. Yep. Is it, is it the shot that he does? No, it might be later when he goes right before he goes into um his murderous whatever some mode. Ragnarok, Dragon Twister, blah blah blah, yada yada, the Sardinic Gatlings. No, it's just not it's not this chapter. I was wrong. I'm stupid. This I love the picture of Young Garp, Sengoku, and Sudo in Film Z. I like, I like, I like that one big marine, um, like wallpaper color spread with all of them. But when they're like a little younger, I love that. I love the spread from Film Z. It's very, very good. I hope that they, um, I hope the next part of the Big Mama Law fight goes the way I need it to go. In the um, anime, just, I just think Toei makes everything longer than it needs to be. That's my only problem. That's my biggest problem with them right now. Cause I like how it looks more often than not. It's just everything. Every they sit on every scene for like two minutes. Yeah, they've been extending shit. I mean, I kind of get it. They're on like a time constraint, sort of, but. It's- just you need to cut that shit down a little sometimes bit. I, sometimes when someone gets hit, I want them to just get hit and I'll hold it for two minutes. Mm-hmm. And he's trying to fight his neck, like he kick him in the face, and he's trying to fucking turn his neck into the foot, and he's trying to kick him. Like, bro, I hate that. <laughs> Stop doing that. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I think I think it's gotta be here. It's gotta be here. I think yes, no, because Luffy does go gear gear four. This is yes, this is before things. Thing comes and interrupts it. Just what is it? What does he say? He's well. He no. He just says. He just well. In this translation, he just says, "I hope you don't think you're the only one who can see the future. I'll take a page out of your book." I don't. Know. It does call it thieving oh, drunk oh. face. So I don't know if he he, he 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 could actually steal the move. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to interpret that. I think he, I think he could do it. I, don't, I still think it comes natural to Kaido. So thoughts on Luffy saying he come back to Whole Cake Island to be Big Mama? Understand simply because a character says something doesn't mean they will or they're completely on the bound to it. But I find it strange when it's never actually addressed. I'm of the opinion that I don't know if they'll fight 
on that island and there was that whole prophecy of um of, of Sherdy or whatever. Madam Shirley, it's Sherry, Madam Shirley. But I think Big Mom and him might have to have a final confrontation. It wouldn't surprise me, but I do think at the very least he will be the one to put like actually I don't remember did Jim Bear already put his flag up there? I don't remember. On Whole Cake? Yeah. No, no, on um on um Fishman Island. Or did he say he would like to put like like you mentioned he wanted to put the straw hat flat there instead, right? Instead of like Big Mom because the cake. Yes, he, he did okay. say that. I think that will be like the resolution there, like the I don't actually I don't even know because Big Mom is out. So like, would the flag even be there now? It's a good question, Shy. Slides. I don't know. It's a good question. I gotta think about that. Quick question: Why do you think Kobe can't break the ball and chain? He's a hockey user, right? I don't know. I don't think his hockey is on that level yet. I don't. I, I guess yeah. I don't know if he's a powerhouse fighter. I don't know. I, I, I'd have to see him kind of in action right now. I don't know how much physical strength he has, but he, he, if he can swim fast underwater, he'd have to have some. That's a good question. I kind of, I kind of thought that to myself, but like, I don't know. I don't know. He likes, he likes the chief. Are you making a fashion statement? What do you think? Because I, I, I remember, I remember, I the reason why like I could understand thinking about this because I remember when Luffy got tied up in a Hulk kick in a Hulk in um Fishman Island. Granted, he still fucking hit Van Decker with Gear Second while tied up. I'm like, bro, if you don't just break those fucking ropes, those ropes cannot hold you. <laughs> <laughs> Can you cut it out? Gear Third, do something. Get out the fucking rope. So I don't know. I didn't think it that seriously. I think maybe he's just tired, exhausted. He, he's got people to defend. I don't know. Don't overthink it. Don't overthink it. Plot or their sea stone, which always portrayed as being harder than anyone could actively break. That's actually a good point. Sea stone is supposed to be like more like harder to break as a metal in general. Um, but it wouldn't make him weaker. It just make him slower. So, yeah. All right. Well, what did you, did you? Did you? Is there anything you wanted to say about um Sudo's granddaughter? By the way, my bad. No, I just thought it was interesting that Sue's granddaughter is part of Sword, and you know she's moving with uh, her grandmother's brother in arms back in the day. Yeah, shout out to Sword. Like, I'm assuming Sword, Sword doing her thing, man. Yeah, I, I'm assuming these are the best of the best within Sword. That is. Or, or perhaps those guys could also be like the next generation, like upcoming generation yeah. of Marines. I still think Smoker ends up counting as one of them. I know people. I know. I know the whole entire world hates Smoker. He sucks. He's the worst. Blah blah blah. But I like Smoker. I will, I think he'll be an admiral. I think. Um, By the end of One Piece, yeah, for sure. I think Kobe will be the fleet admiral. Or I don't know. What's the What's the other? Th- what, what was Kong again? Kong was something. Somebody irrelevant. I don't know why Kong gets hyped up. Nobody talks to him. He doesn't get any fucking spotlight. Why does everyone talk about Kong like he's the shit? He's the world government commander in chief, bro. What you mean? I don't give a fuck. (laughs) Can that nigga have some meaningful conversation? Yo, bro. You you got a nice beard. (laughs) That shit gets on my nerves. They just talk about some Kong like that. What the fuck has Kong done or said for you to say this? Bro, you don't believe in the the, the world government commander in chief? The previous fleet admiral, bro? Look. There are some people I'm not I am not hyping it. I'm just being I'm just I'm just being, I'm just being stupid. No, I, I know what you're doing. You're playing <laughs> devil's advocate. But I, I wanna nip this in the bud right now because I've felt this way for a while. Especially since, you know, me, I actually am in the military. There are some people that reach certain positions based on exemplary performance. Like, there's somebody that's trustworthy. They know that they can come through for them, whatever, da-da-da. And then there's other people that reach positions because they meet all the requirements. Not because they're the best person available, but because 
yeah, he's good enough. That's what Kong feels like to me. That's fair. Like, a nigga see Kong, they're not going to be shaking in their boots. They're going to be like, who? <laughs> I don't think he's ever going to do anything at this point, so it is what it is. I just, I just Exactly. Wanna... You're not going to do shit. So I don't know why people hype him up. Sort of thought what I expected. I thought they were a secret group within the Marines. It didn't look like that. Um, well, I would, well, Kuzan would know th- something like this, though. So I, 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 I'm not, all right, but I hear you. Um, the White Chaser is my guy. Monkey D. Kong. <laughs> Those games, though, Pat. Kong, a pencil pusher. <laughs> He's Chair Force. <laughs> yeah, um, he might be. <laughs> <laughs> I know what that means. I'm, I'm, part, I'm part, bro. I'm part of it. Um, okay, I'm kidding. Kong, um, a kind of was confirmed sword member from a cover page. I wonder what that means for our management. Wait, when? What, what, color, what cover page? Is it one where he has the sword tattoo? Like, like I guess. Neck and forearm no. thick as hell, though. <laughs> so, Kobe uh, and a kind of would not be this part of the same faction. That doesn't make any sense. Please think about it before you say something like that. I may be wrong, but someone has king in their king in their top um twenty a uh, thirty Kong who. Uh, it better not be me. I could see myself doing that a couple years ago. Copy pages don't confirm anything. That's Cap, Kong, I mean. What other sword member has a tattoo? Or are you making pre time skip assumption? A Marine character has a sword tattoo. I don't know what you want from me. <laughs> what if you like swords? <laughs> Why do you, that nigga like... Kong don't even get mentioned in discussion, man. No, I was talking about that nigga. Like, they talk about they talk about Akainu right now because Akainu I think it's oh, a, a chapter where I think it's a cover page where he has a sword tattoo. People are like Shh, he's part of sword. I'm like I don't I don't know what that tells me. I'm just I'm just I'm just, I'm just, I'm just vibe out. Did it did it was it order that said that Akainu was so strong he can like find a One Piece in a year? Did he say that? Or am I am I misremembering that? If he was a pirate, yes, he would he would find a One Piece in a year. So but the, I mean, that, so is he that, the goat? That has no. But think about it. I think that's more to do with like his personality, though. Like you know that they just so fucking gung ho about okay, shit. Yeah. Uh, okay. Like from what I've gathered so far, going through One Piece, these niggas have literally just been sitting on their asses waiting for an opportunity. Mm. Like all Big Mom cared about was eating sweets all fucking day, and this nigga Kaido was drunk all in his ass every fucking day. Even Shanks, Shanks just now was like, "Let's let's start getting serious about getting this One Piece shit." Mm. I I feel like Shanks knows more than he's letting on, or maybe he had to wait for something to happen. I don't know, but that's a good point. Yeah, the only nigga that was making moves like that for real was Blackbeard, and Blackbeard waited for a long time. We'll have to see. Uh, he said he'd end one piece in a year, but I guess it's the same. Yeah, Naya kind of was Messi and Jordan. That's 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 crazy. Absolute justice gets shit done. Do they do they does it get shit done? Also, doesn't give any context if he's finding as a marine with the marine force behind him, or if he was a pirate. It's a different scenario. I have no idea. I just remember someone say something like that. It comes up every time someone. Cause I, I was just on Twitter for a second and I saw it in passing. I'm like, what did they say this? Because someone's like, I told you, Garp would have fucked up Sakazuki easily, bro. He would have punched him into the fucking. And I'm like, yeah, I'll just recycle the same things every week. All right, I'm gonna be out. I like the chapter. Shout Garp. Garp's a goat. The monkey's the hero or, uh, of the know. Marines. I, I don't know about dragging it, but the jury's on it. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not sold. I'm not. But but Garp and Halufi, I fucks with him. All right, y'all be safe.